Ah. Okay. Alrighty.
All right, am I here? Can I have a voice? Can I be heard? Oh yeah, I can be heard. You guys ready for a bunch of RimWorld? We're, we're actually starting off all vanilla, no DLC, and we're gonna be playing casual like, because we got so much time. Got myself a cup of coffee and a bag of cheese. Today was leg day at the gym, so I get to have my chair back. I don't know if you guys knew, but I banned the use of chairs at my desk. I switched it to standing and I stood every workday for a week. And I've been going to the gym super hard for a week. I'm actually trying to get fit for you guys. So, and, and really the, the trainers there brutalize me. That it's violence. As always, all day long, dollar push-up or sit-up or squat or whatever. At any time, I gotta let go of the controls and do the reps. Please don't make me do 400 squats in a row again. That really sucked. I like money, but that, that sucks. All right, let me get chat all zoomed in here so I can see you guys chit-chatting. Let's pop you guys up. The weather's good, that's why we're streaming today. I think that my Starlink won't get wiped out like the last stream. All righty, let me scroll all the way up. Someone was watching South Park. Is this a 24-hour stream? You know, I didn't consider that when I was naming it, but we'll we'll go a long time. I, I feel so much better since I started working out that I actually feel like I have this, the endurance to actually hold out on streams these days. Nuber ideology, just make push-ups challenge for Nuber. Oh. Will I add mods? If we die, uh, we might swap out the mod list. I mean, we're going to be here a while. We got the whole weekend, boys. Those of you that were on the Discord saw that we were having a lot of revenue problems, so I switched to doing contract work instead of doing YouTube videos. So, like, streaming is something that's easier to do. It re it's really tough to put, like, 80 hours into a video for 50 bucks, so... No, just making decisions, making changes, you know, doing things. Let me pour myself some kombucha here. We're going to be playing some Go Rim World. Oh, wait, that's all that's left? Dang! Oh, we're not getting more of that for a while. All right. All righty. How long have we been waiting? Has it been 10 minutes yet? Sure, but I'm gonna ban more injuries because I said no a hundred times. It's not my type of mod. <laughs> At the end of the day, I'm having fun first, so. And then you can have fun too, if you choose to. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn this music just down a little bit. Oh man, I like it a lot. I like this music a lot, lot. Alrighty, let's transition into our game. And I'm going to pause the stream so I'm not hearing my voice. Alright. Oh, we're switching to some good songs. Good, good songs. Alright. We're going to be all kinds of relaxing today and hanging out. So if you want to ask RimWorld-related questions, if you want to find that friend that needs to learn some stuff, you can throw them in here.
Sorry, sorry guys, Grandma came down here. She can say hi to you guys if you want. Hello guys. <laughs> Love you, Grandma. Love you too. That's my wonderful grandmother. Alrighty, I'm I'm back. So, whoa. yeah, dude, it was wild. I used to live in an apartment, but they came to me and like, hey, we want you to pay twice as much rent now. And I was like, uh, but what if you don't earn that much? <laughs> All right. No, it's okay. I, I muted because I didn't know what my uh, grandmother wanted to ask me about. Stuff, stuff's private, you know, so. You guys want mountains? All right. I'm going to have to get this camera set up for you guys for next time. You guys can have the Kirby camera. I'll put it down by the floor so you guys can... Actually, make sure I do my push-ups because I know you guys care about that. And you can see the dog. Alrighty. Terrain. 40 to 60 days, 1st to April, May. Okay. Now, we're going to be here a while, so we're going to take it easy. We're going to find a nice spot. Something wrong with the stream? Oh no, it looks fine. There. Okay, I'll go and check it on YouTube. Just be sure, sure. Okay, a little bit more voice. You're making me worried right after we start. What are you asking about, Pigman? All right, I'm going to just assume everything's okay and continue on with my day. Yo, Espen, what's going? <laughs> the impassable rock here. I don't know why, but I'm really liking this mountain that kind of cuts around the pollution. The flow floke all the way over there. <laughs> It's so weird booting up RimWorld with no mods, just DLC. Because it just feels like so much is missing from the game, but in reality, there's so much still there. Ah, ah, I'm sorry. Yep, you go do your thing. <laughs> Let's get some waterfront then. We got a temperate forest here, kind of hidden away in the mountains. We got a road leading to it. But a lot of rockiness here, so little idle colonies around it. Alrighty. You guys are getting a whole set of new emotes. Um, I had some emotes commissioned. Well, all the Discord server emotes, I had a uh, recommissioned by our local artists and redrawn to be more fitting for YouTube. So all the emotes that are on Discord, you guys are YouTube members. You guys can get that soon. So I want to make sure you guys have all the stuff you deserve. I think we're going to be right here. Let me actually check it one more time, the terrain. 50 to 60 days, December 11th to December 1st. That's a really short growing period, actually. Or am, I, am I brain farting right now? Is it all year round? I think it's year round. We're really uh, kind of just right in the middle here. Okay. All righty. Time zones plus two. Movement difficulties too. We got dirt road. We got granite and marble, which are my favorites. It's actually kind of just a really good spot right here. So I think we're going to take it. I think this is okay. We're going to go up here, and we'll start ourselves in the spring. And we'll go with uh, the large here at 90,000 cells. In fact, we don't. We probably don't even need the large. We take a large medium. Nah. Yeah, we'll take a, the largest of medium. A little bit smaller. Alrighty. Extra large. We don't need to mess anything up. We don't need to go crazy. Like I said, we got all day. We're hanging out. We're doing some RimWorld. Some good stuff. I haven't... Every time I stream, we always try to do crazy stuff. And then 
I always get overwhelmed trying to talk between chat and stuff. Today we're just having a good time. Slate game. Yeah, I know. Slate, you could build it easy and quick. I know. I know. There's many great things to Slate. Yo, Lucas, thanks for becoming a member. I appreciate it. You're going to get all the new videos ad-free now. And all the old ones you should be able to watch. From the members tab. <laughs> Kirby. This is why I left you upstairs while we work. I understand that you want to play, but it can't be playtime all hours of the day. So, you guys that want to know, I keep boxes of dog treats down here, and Curbworm climbs on my chair and demands infinite treats from me. So I have to lock him upstairs with my grandparents when I'm working, because he'll sit down here and eat endless treats. <laughs> Never-ending treats, because it's how I bribe him to, to give me a moment of peace. <laughs> Who's oh, my boy? Who's a good boy? Watch your curb. Watch your curb where? Whoa. Lucas, make sure you got your YouTube account linked on Discord so you get access to the patron chat. So you get all that stuff. Here's a biscuit, curb worm. What's your biscuit? We definitely need to get the Kirby cam set up. He's so adorable. He's only almost two years old and he's still my child. You know, when I ask him if he wants to go to bed, he'll like roll over on the floor. And put his paws up in the air. Be like, pick me up. Carry me. <laughs> I gotta carry him to bed every night. <laughs> Jeez, Petro, no. <laughs> I think we're gonna go classic like. And I really want to have... Let's start with a fluid one. And kind of build it as we go. I think that's more fun. So we'll have a simple one that we can build on our own. Will be ideological. And we'll be collectivist. Everybody works together. <laughs> Cannibalistic supremacists. Watching the live and playing RimWorld. Today is a day of vibing and relaxing and doing push ups. I'm going to try to do these streams more often. The goal is to raise an extra 500 a month from streams to cover channel costs. So if I do enough streams, that spreads it out enough that we don't really need to get much per stream. There's there's ways of doing things. So, Plus with the contract work that I'm starting soon, all the, all the, all the gigs that I'm doing on the side be solid. Oh, we got, oh yeah, we do got to do push-ups. Noobtopian. What level is Noobtopian on the thing? Is that one, three, or four? How many push-ups is that? Somebody tell me. How many push-ups do I owe Lucas? Two, two buck. All right, two push-ups. Can do. Will do. Yeah, we definitely need to get the camera set up. I think you guys would enjoy watching me struggle really hard with push-ups. <laughs> I think it would make it a lot more enjoyable to you guys instead of just hearing sound effects of my voice as I'm grunting on the floor. <laughs> All right, so we got one more. And I really like going with the Mechanitor and doing uh, robots and stuff. I really enjoy it a lot trying to think because there's no mods in this run so i have to think a lot more because mods allow you to do anything you think of without mods there's much more strategy <laughs> you love the cv struggle <laughs> yeah i used to bring it all the way down to the floor i really got to just get the camera set up Mind you guys, I'm 220 pounds. I'm kind of fat. I've lost 37 pounds in the last few months, though. And I'm going to the gym seven days a week now. So, and there's a trainer there that makes sure I'm not a slacker. They have this, like, ladder that never ends that, like, kills your legs and abs. 
Oh my gosh, they doubled. I started off doing it for three minutes, and then the next day it was five, and then it was 10. Now I got to do 15. Some other guy made a bet with me. He's like, I'll do 10 minutes more than whatever you do. And I was like, all right. And that's why I pushed to 10 minutes. And then he comes back and says he did 25. And he's like, now you owe me 15. So it backfired, making him try to do more. Now I got to do more. <laughs> It didn't work out at all. I shot myself in the leg there. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. Enough chit chatting. Um, Raider is really fun. I do like raiding. Raiding is really fun in Vanilla Rim World. Oh man, I got the ADHD so bad. When I get mods going, I end up breaking everything, destroying my own colony because I'm not paying attention enough. All right, so we got transhumanist here, which I do like, but we'll leave that off. In fact. You gotta choose one meme. Well, we're gonna do collectivist and leave it that way. And we'll kind of just do stuff as we go. I don't even want to touch this. I kind of just want to develop an ideal religion as we go. That's something that I've never really taken the time for. This is incredible. I'll just leave it. <laughs> so we're starting naked brutality. By the way, we get one pawn. And I'm not going to randomize any of these guys, so we just got to find someone that has the best chance of not being dead. Got a pessimist here. Mining Knight. What I'm really looking is intellectual and crafting and shooting, right? It's someone that can do things and they won't die, and they need at least five medical. So this guy here, Ed, the inventor. Oh, but he's got injuries. Permanent pain. That's like a permanent minus five mood right there, just so you know. So he'll always get minus five from his right shoulder. So just eating without a table and then sleeping in the heat or whatever. It's like having both of those moodlets at the same time, just having his right shoulder scar. Need construction, can't even build a chair. <laughs> Pregnant. Oh. <laughs> Pregante. Pregonante. <laughs> Like, what's that video? They say it like a hundred different times. I remember when, like years ago, when I was much younger, it made me laugh so hard. Take the pregnant person. I, I'm not. I actually haven't had many pregnant pawns in Rimworld. I can't remember how debilitated a pawn gets when they give birth. Like, do they just die? If there's no, if they're the only pawn, are they just screwed? Help me out here, guys. Help me out here. You guys got the. You guys got the infos. It's not about taking the pawn. It's whether they can survive if they're the only one given a pregnancy. I'm not getting an answer. We're moving on. That's too much of a risk. Even though the skills are actually really decent. But they can't do any intellectual. Don't. Yeah. Brawler. Staggeringly ugly but iron-willed. Can't cook anything. So they'll be a berry monster. Your headache is killing you. Lucas, drink some water. If you have uh, your neck forward posture like me, roll up a sock into a ball and put it on the hunch on your back and lay on a flat surface. I ain't no doc, but like referencing my own suffering and what helped me reduce it. <laughs> Whoa, what a bunch of passions. Volatile and misog no violent, no caring. You could be, you're like the perfect mute. You're like the, this person would be a savant. <laughs> do you know how to do neck stretches, Lucas? See, this is why I need to get the camera working. I could show you how to do some neck stretches. Vastly different. I put a multi-band compressor, a paramatic equalizer, and I do some mastering on my voice when I'm recording. Adobe lets me do that live into the stream, but it puts like a 300 millisecond delay on it, and I just I don't really care enough. You know, people say our audio quality changes all the time, and that's because me and Bo both edit the videos, and I'm helping him learn how to edit because we're both practicing <laughs> editing more and more together. <laughs> what is going on, Kirby? What, bud? What? What's going on? What? What are you barking at? 
You don't know? I don't know what you're barking at either. <laughs> I guess we neither of us know why you were barking. <laughs> Mookie? Mookie's got some wild mining skills and some really good medical skills. You guys need dog cam? Dude, Curb the Floof is the most beautiful dog in the whole wide world. He is my, my child. Oh, he's going up the stairs now. This music gives me good energy. I like this music. Um, so we have a problem here. I think we're going to have to take uh, Ed here. Ed has the most potential of all the pawns. Even though he's going to have some negative mood stuff going on. What do you got? Way of Justice. Oh, that's what our thing is called. We're going to go for a while, Lucas. I actually just put in the title Day of Rim because I was going to stream for the day. I didn't even think people would consider it be a 24-hour stream, but we can aim for it. I mean, people in this house go to bed around 1 a.m. I don't know what time it is right now. How do those subathons work? You just add like five minutes to stream for every dollar we get. <laughs> Pay off all my debt. Just have to stream for... 800 hours and see if I don't turn into a husk. Like <laughs> I can't imagine how exhausting those subathons are for people because when I do 24 hour streams, I've done a couple of them in my career here. They're really tough. Like for the first couple hours, you got a lot of energy, you can keep people entertained, but that's about the limit of it. And then it's like 18 hours of being a zombie, right? And then for some reason, that weird burst of energy right before the end. All right, let's go to the options here, our audio. We're going to take that music. It's off. All right, cool. And, you know, I am working on a lot of videos, just so you guys know. Like, we have the Beginner's Guide Part 3 right here. I'm still working on it. We even got the save here for it because we're doing all the recording for it. What is it? Uh, we have the really funny one of all the monkeys. How many monkeys does it take to kill a thrombo? One monkey, five monkey, 10, 20 monkey. All the saves with different amounts of trained monkeys. <laughs> so we're doing some silly and interesting stuff for you guys. I know we're not posting off and it's just, we're working on other stuff or I'm doing other jobs and stuff to pay bills. We have a really good spot right out the gate for basing. It's right in the middle. It's pretty defensible. Um, we got the cave actually down here leading into this cove. Actually, ooh, it's on sand, so it won't support heavy items. This is an excellent map. What what was the seed? Did anybody see the seed? We are working on a video of like the 25 best RimWorld map seeds. So I'm going to go find the seed. DM it to me on Discord. Uh, right now, we're doing it all vanilla. Later on today, we may switch mods. Depends on how this run goes. If I die on vanilla, which would be really sad. If I die on vanilla. <laughs> we got our mech pod over here. All right, so let's look here. We're going to start off small because small is best when you got one dude. So let's go over here. Let's go to our planning. And might be actually best to pull all the way back here. So we'll throw a wall up here. This could be a box too. We could easily get steel actually. All right, you know what? No, we're going to go right here. Just for now. Just for now. We got some heal root here. So I'll take care of us. If we go to needs, minor pain. This is why I was telling you guys about you get a permanent minus five mood because he's got these stupid wounds. You can't fix these. I mean, I guess you'd fix it with Bio Sculptor. Or could you? I can't remember. I've never tried to fix pawns like that before. I just give them robo limbs. Like the, this leg gives him minus five mood. He would just get a replacement leg. New arm. <laughs> Little house is cool. Yeah, we're going to... I'm going to try not to be too crazy about the micro. Try to have a lot of fun here. Theme it a bit. We got Ed here. Ed's really cool. Who wants to be Ed? Lucas. 
You know what? You're the first person to become member today, so we'll give it to you. Lucas, try not to die. <laughs> try not to die, Lucas. <laughs> Alright, let's go to our stockpile zone here. We're going to do some things. And actually, we don't even have to go that big on the base, do we? We can go even smaller. We can go real small. All right. Yeah, there's no wood. Okay. Let's aim for some good to chop trees that are fully grown. And the reason we're picking these ones is if you come over here and hit info on them real quick, they have a harvest yield of 46, which is a ton, and they grow quick. But if you waste your time chopping down a poplar tree, you only get 27 wood. So if you're in a rush for wood, aim for oak trees. I started off with the planet. Ding! <laughs> oh, you know what? I remember what the chill... The, it was a uh, chill, chill world. The seed was chill world. All right. Or chill game, one of the two. I'll figure it out later. I'll have to just come back and find the seed. This seed is excellent. There's so many good base locations. You got the cove over here. You got right here. You got right here. Oh my goodness. It's just a delicious map. Oh, yeah. Give Newbert more. <laughs> Newbert like. <laughs> what an excellent map. It's a brilliant map, actually. We haven't done a Let's Play in a while. Something I was considering for a Let's Play is, you know, uh, some people have done those world's smallest map runs. I was thinking of having seven colonies all right next to each other on tiles, but they're all 25 by 25 tiles. So, like, each one is specialized tiles. And then there's the middle tile where it's being built up. The map making you drool right now. I know, it's such a good map. You know what? I'll take a save right here. I will, one sec, I'm going to go throw this on Discord so you guys can go download this save. Why is that big cat watching? That big cat's probably hungry. I didn't see many other animals on the map. Alrighty, let me go down to challenges. So in the RimWorld challenges section on our Discord, I'm going to pop that save in there real quick. There you guys go. That's uploaded. Feel free to download. Alrighty, I'm going to hop back into the game real quick. What's your hunger at, dude? Oh, I don't have the mod. I can't tell how hungry he is. <sighs> Get away. There's a rat. Go get that. Cute little kitty. Give it a pet name. <laughs> He's getting so close. Oh, why are you... <laughs> Is it omnivorous? Is it actually raw meat, corpses, animal products, meals, processed foods, kibble? He will not eat berries. He will eat me, though. He will eat me. You're not too fond of dying. <laughs> so much heel root and stuff, too. My goodness. Dude, this map is delicioso. And because it's uh, vanilla only and no mods, if any of you guys go download the save on Discord, as long as you got the DLC, you could reboot it with a lot of mods. I mean, as long as it doesn't change the game world, you should be able to add a lot of vanilla expanded stuff. To RimWorld? RimWorld don't get updates. What are you talking about? Why do you think we have such a hard time growing this channel? If, dude, if, if RimWorld got frequent updates, we'd have update news all the time. I would love it. I would love it. But it's a finished game. Tynan said it's finished. He said he's under no 
real obligation to make any more DLC or anything, and that's totally fine. RimWorld is an excellent game as it already stands, right? Yeah, that's all the DLCs on this save. I know Lydian was hiring a number of people last year, and some of them were people that had a big background in multiplayer development, so I don't know if they're making a new game or what. I'm not going to speculate on it, though. I hope whatever they're doing, uh, it's fun for them, and it's going to be cool for us. Lucas, you really take your time cutting trees. Plant zero. <laughs> you got zero plants. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so before he starves, let's try to get him to like level one plants so he doesn't botch getting the, the blueberries. <laughs> you know, Lucas might have better luck killing a rabbit for food than he would harvesting berries from a bush. The berries is too complicated. So I'm saying, Lucas, and plus the Rimworld mod market is so robust. There's so many coders over there now. And it's like the same with Project Zomboid. The mod market is so insane. I just think it's hilarious that Lucas has a higher probability of successfully getting a rabbit than he does of getting this bush. Game, game world problems. Medical skill? Let's just say that uh, you should be fine if you get scratched or something. Speaking of medical stuff, uh, we'll put self-tend on real quick. Everything's turned on. Man, I'm almost out of cheese. I need a P.O. box so people can send me cheese wheels. <laughs> I want cheese wheels. <laughs> I used to, when I used to have a job, I'd ask people if they had a choice between like a wine cellar or a cheese cellar, what would they want? Surprisingly, most people would prefer to have a cheese cellar. And that just sounds accurate. That sounds like how things should be. Why we got chunks of spacecraft falling? Where at? Where to? Where do you even land? Am I blind? Whatever. Sung Squire, welcome, welcome, welcome. I gotta do two, two, uh, two push-ups. Yep. Push-ups. Yep. I actually am super determined to lose weight and show you guys how crazy it is. I started at 257 pounds. I am in 218 pounds now, and I'm going down to 190. I took a picture of myself when I was at my highest weight. So you guys can get that before and after. The moans? My whole body's sore. This is my first like real week of exercising really hard with a trainer. And it's just... It's been a lot on my body, <laughs> and it sure was a mental battle, too. All right, how's he doing mood-wise? We're getting near that first break, so we're going to give up on the tree and try the berries. Oh, boy. Don't botch it, or get, like, one berry. Come on, you can do it. Come on. You! All right, so here's what you need to do. You need to equip the wood. I, kn I knew it was always going to go this way, of course, so we're going to go and beat up the hair with a stick. And, yep. I told you you had a better chance of getting a rabbit than the berry bush. I knew it. I knew it, Lucas. I didn't even have to... It bit your head? It lagged? <laughs> All right, go tend to yourself. Yeah, malnutrition sucks because it takes more nutritions to uh, fix it. But you're stuffed now, so. We're going to go to furniture. We're going to throw him a sleeping spot right there. Then we're going to go to structure, wood. Alrighty. 
Try to get mild mental break and get catharsis. There's a danger with catharsis is if there's no other pawns in the colony and he just hides there, he's going to lay there for a week and starve to death. Real risks. <laughs> Oh, wow. I didn't even realize how many people are watching the stream. Thank you all for joining us today. I have a big fat goal of getting 100 people to watch me stream RimWorld. Then I can finally say I'm a streamer. I think we actually did it before when RimWorld had the biotech update. We had like 200 people on a stream. And I was actually almost too intimidated to even be live. I was... I know it's like I'm in my own room, but it, that's like being in front of a crowd of people. It's stupid, I know. I'm like, I, we make videos for so many people, but being live, it's different, okay? It feels different. <laughs> it feels a lot different. Professional streamer. I've been making uh, RimWorld memes, too. I don't know if uh, any of you guys have seen this in the Discord. I've been throwing them in the meme channel. I've been making a lot of prisoner memes. <laughs> Alright, you don't need to you don't need to do that now, Lucas. In fact, I actually forgot to do something. <laughs> I forgot to do something really important. So let's go do that real quick. Let's go plant some rice real quick. He's chopped enough wood for now. There's a really cool mod called Plant Bills where you can just set this zone to grow in. And then schedule up all the different plants you want to have in your stockpile. And then they'll do the planting based off of what's missing. And so you don't need to have the biggest, massivest fields in the world and grow a million things way beyond what you want. Yeah, we're going to grow some rice right here. And then, while we're at it, because we can, we're also going to grow some potatoes over here. Because potatoes do better in that stony soil. And this stuff's kind of already cleared out. Alrighty. You don't need that. You already got wood. No, 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 my boy. My boy. You gotta come up here and plant stuff. Go on now. Before I make you punch another rabbit, which you're gonna have to do soon anyways. Actually, you gotta do it pretty much right now. Let's go harvest these, though. That initial uh, getting all the food taken care of part... Yeah, my voice is doing a lot. So I had the, uh, I had th that illness that everybody knows about, uh, about at the start of the month, and that's when I recorded those that voiceover for that video that you guys saw yesterday. And then I wanted to work on the video a bit more, but our revenue was getting a little too low, so I had to release it early to kind of get some money for the month. Do, do. We got the berries. All right, let's get that stuff in. Yo, oh, Harvey, what's up? Welcome to the stream. How you been doing, my dude? You're not a failure, Lucas. You guys are doing great. I'm an, I'm his I'm his leader, so if he's struggling, it's my fault. I have complete control of his entire existence. <laughs> We're going to go and give him some stuff for his mood today after he finishes all the planting. Well, actually, uh, we'll give him one of these right now just as a stress reliever. We'll put it up by the door so he can do it inside and be safe. There you go. Get that recreation up a bit. Slept in the cold, uncovered groin, awful bedroom, chilly. So we can fix a lot of these moods really quick just by building a campfire. And he does have enough wood for a campfire, so we'll do that real quick. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Come on now, my guy. To be fair, I would not get a fire started in two tries from scratch. Oh, dude, yeah, sweet. How is the cold doing? I'm doing a lot better. My, it, it's been really weird because I, I had the you know what and I can't smell anything except for stuff that smells bad now. 
<laughs> it was really strange. Get up here and plant the rice, dude. Up here. Let's go do that. This is better. This is a better plan. <laughs> There's so many berry bushes, it, and it's only one pawn, so... <laughs> Uh, what we really don't want to have happen is a mental break where Pawn decides to go and eat the bug stuff. So what we'll probably do here is while they're sleeping in the night, we'll wall this off one of these days. Surprise, the family is, says they're heading out to eat. I hope they have a good time. And Kirby's coming back down. He's ready to say hi to you guys again. Here, Kirby, say hi to the people. I'll give you the mic. You say hi. What's up, Kirby? What's up, what's up? Kirby, you want a treat? You want a treat, Kirby? Kirby, treat? Kirby, you want a treat? Oh, yeah, Kirby, treat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I, my chair almost fell over. That actually scared me. There you go, bud. There you go. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Just, I was getting talked to. I almost fell out of my chair giving Kirby a treat. Kirby will always get attention first. It's always like that. I didn't notice there was people here. Can we talk to you? Can we say hi? Are you just passing through? How are we doing on needs? We are hungies. Hangies. All right. Make an attempt on the food. So we're going to pick a bunch of berries right now and make a stack of them to take back. So we don't do the silly all the time. Yeah, that insect jelly would be good for mood. The issue is if we take too much of the insect jelly, that if they get hungry, they'll start wandering outside to get food. And I'd like them to stay in in, in their uh, their pit. So uh, they're okay where they are. Grab some heal root real quick too. It's always good to have some of that. These guys are kind of kidding. Don't mind those two. They just like watching misery. It's like, guys, look at the naked dude living in the cave wall. Look how quick they go when they're leaving map. Oh, I guess it's kind of the same speed. They're just beelining out of here though. How many bugs are over here? If there's not many bugs, I think that the uh, hive will supply enough jelly. I can't remember how much jelly it makes per day. It's not going to tell us. I don't have the mod. Darn, darn, darn. Everything is mods. Everything that I think is vanilla was a mod. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> Even core is a mod. Core is a mod, too. You can see it on the mod list. All right. I want to give him a shell so he can get his stuff off the floor, but I just don't, it's not important enough. We need that, like, basic sustaining of his life going on right now. So look at all this. All, and now he's just sweaty. We can fix that by opening the door. Well, animals would come in if we did that. So I think the thing to do today is this. Really minor security box for our one dude. This'll, we can throw 150 damage at someone before they get in here. Yeah, bed will make him a lot happier. How's it going, Bren? Good morning, Bren. 
How you doing, dude? All right, get up. Time to be up. Grizzly bear revenge from who? For why? Why are you fighting a grizzly bear? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This can't end well. He's not going to win against the bear. We got to go back inside. We only got five berries inside. Go harvest a berry bush and then hide. <laughs> this is going to hide in the berry bush. Where's the berry bush at? We Did we harvest all of them? Okay. How are we doing hunger-wise? He's pretty full. How injured is it? 11 hours to bleed out. Okay. Maybe this is a gift. Kirby, all you did was bust apart your treat and then leave. Okay. <laughs> he, he's gonna manage. Dude, look. What the heck? Dude's actually alright. He's melee fighting a bear. Who is this dude? He meleeed the bear. What the heck? Nobody ever fight this guy. Remember him. <laughs> what was his melee skill? 11. <laughs> oh, there we go. Well, he gave us a free bear, so we're just going to go, and uh, that's going to be ours. We're taking that. <laughs> and there's berries up here, too. Wait! We got a knife. Oh, I'm food. All right, so haul that. Then haul that. Then what is on you? Like, the dude died with clothes on, but, like, let's be fair. You'd be happier to not be naked. Right? Because the tainted is only minus eight. Right? And then if we expose you... Oh, that's only minus four. Okay, well, I guess you're naked. I guess we're going to be naked. Hey, a knife is better than nothing. What did you do? You went to bed? Come get your bear. And we will butcher it at the last possible moment. Feast on the bear. <laughs> Alright, so food is kind of solved for the moment, actually. It's an angry rat. We have to knife a rat, guys. We have to do it. Stab a rat. Rat stab. Yeah, you have a good one, Bren. What temperature is it in here? 29 degrees. Time to stab a rat. Ah! Don't get the plague from the dumb rat. Bit by rat teeth. Oh my goodness. No. We'll use the herbal medicine. Thank you. Why do you always get bit in that? Would you rather get bit in the groin? <laughs> that seems like what the only thing that's ever going to happen to me is zomboid, is that the zombies bite me. 
in my lowers. <laughs> yes, look. <laughs> Dude, these cheese cubes are so good. I go to so I go to this outlet store that buys food that's well they sell food that's about to expire at a really good discount. And I can get some cheese for two bucks. I mean it's turning. Sometimes there's mold on it, but the only other way to buy cheese is like eight dollars. Gotta get crafty, dude. All right, let's sketch. Let's queue up some tree chop. How grown is? It? They're both. All three are ready to harvest. All right. Well, you are done sleeping, so let's just have you do all three of these. And we're just gonna speed up time and go get it done. Get up, dude. Go do it. Go do it all. Get it done. Dude, your skull is an excellent shield. I mean, I will admit that uh, skin breakage on the skull does lead to excess bleeding. Because it's in the head. A lot of blood pressure up there. But, you know. <laughs> I can't remember if there's anything in Rimmel that makes uh, wounds on the head bleed faster at a higher rate or anything. Is there different blood loss percentages per limb? I'm going to have to look into it. Oh, I'm sure it won't explode. It's only three quatrums old. I'm sure it wants more time to, to do do things. So how you doing, Lucas? How are we feeling today? Minor pain, always a minus five. Recreation, unfulfilled, minus five, so that's minus ten. Minus, all right, so let's get him in bed today. Let's go do the bed. We really got to get the, the trap set up, though. Very, very important. And how are we doing on the bear? 1.5 days. How's uh, his cooking? Not good. Not good. So we might be better off eating the bear raw outside. Really awful bed. <laughs> Give the give the boom rat a pet with a knife. <laughs> You're slowly gaining skills, Lucas. You're slowly becoming a member of society. Hopefully no one eats your rice. I think we got twelve plots planted, so we'll be good for harvest. The first harvest at least. Three by seven is twenty one. 28. Yeah. Put some corn here. He can't really fight anybody. I don't really want to draw raiders closer. I mean, we could strategically put plots of crops really far away, but that puts our guy in danger too. Because really the only thing that I could think to do with plots to protect them better is to put them in places I think the raiders will path through these guys. But that also means our guy will path through them. We're working on a video on pathing, just so you guys know. So you guys get some derpiness out of your radar. <laughs> when we're working on videos like that, we have to do a lot of studying ourselves because we have to like become more more knowledgeable on the subjects too before we make a video. So it's like sitting down and researching for a few weeks. Whoever's writing the video course. All right, Lucas, chop that tree beauty this bedroom is kind of kind of meh man we might have to start streaming rimworld in the mornings i can't believe how many people are showed up for this dude literally in the evenings i thought i could not manage more than 20 people watching a stream because that's how it always was when i stream that's kind of why i didn't stream too often no offense to the people that did show up but i just I thought there was more fruitful things I could do with my time. The great history of past and, and our world of other media. 
Dude, I want to work on a video about real- There's so many videos I want to do, but I always struggle with my motivation. Well, why'd you let that happen? Here. Here you go. Bills. Add bill. Butcher creature. It's due forever. Yes, I understand that having a butcher table is better, but we don't have one. Make yourself some meat. Eat some meat. Oh, the rat. You eat skewered rat. Um, 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 um. That probably was bad, wasn't it? Let's go to furniture here. We can save ourselves one more negative moodlet and give ourselves a table and a sitting stool. There you go, Lucas. Yo, put this on on the background. I spent a good hour and a half picking out some music for us. We'll be here a while. I, w I wanted this to kind of just be a relaxing place to chill for the day. We've I've had such a, a hectic week, and I just really wanted to spend time with you guys. I feel like we've been missing out on time together, you know, between me doing other other work and us taking more time to make videos. We've, we've been missing these opportunities to meet up. I'm definitely going to get those emotes added in for uh, you guys that are channel members, though. So you guys will have those. Unless I did it already. Am I a silly, silly goose? I don't know how to even check. I don't know how to use things. Oh, no. All right, I'm going to stop pressing play <laughs> before I break my stream. Oh, my gosh. But, Lucas, you see, I'm insane. So it works out great. Like, dude, I decided to be a content creator. There's nothing more insane to think to do than that. Break down at work from lack of table. Go get that last tree, dude. We're not going to worry about planting any more food. We got, uh... 12 nutrition when eating food raw. So you have one, you got like five meals. You need like 20 nutrition. A, what? Huh. Something died somewhere. I don't know where, but something died. It's dead. Oh. Yeah, you, you eat your food. This is not good. He's more capable than me. But we have a saving No! He went left! Okay, okay, we can we can we can solve this. Let's go up this way. Hide up here really quickly. Oh, your skill is too low? Oh, no, Lucas. Oh, no, you don't have to make a deadfall trap. Who has the more capable knife? This is a poor knife. It's a, it's a poor steel knife. That's not a good start. He has an awful steel knife, though. He's got level 3 stabby stab. And, and he's got cloth, which provides 5.8 sharp protection. I got nothing. He has go juice? We can't fight this man. We cannot fight this man. All right, there's another option here. We're going to take our guy and run him all the way over here. Hopefully we can lure him back in. See, silly path stuff. Come on, begin your raid before I get hungry. Come on, man. Come on. in the raid come on come on come on come on come on. oh crap we're past the first threshold we're getting closest come on nate hey, dude he chugged it already where's he going he's just gonna break stuff <gasps> 
Well, I guess that's over. Let's just uh, go home. Uh, I don't know what he was thinking. <laughs> I don't understand. I think uh, he got a little too confident there, so we're just gonna head home. Yeah, that that that's over. Lucas personally kind of sad dude right now, so he's gonna eat up. Eat some foods. Make your table. Refuel a campfire first, though. Where are you going? No, don't. Forbidden. Why would you go so far? I have no mods. Makes dumb pawn. Oh, he was even more hungry than me. I didn't even see that. What a waste. Oh, he's a pyromaniac, too. What a terrifying pawn. How are we doing sleep? What? We're fine on sleep. Here. Schedule. This is why you're sleeping all the time. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. You don't, you don't need to put everything in the campfire. Come on. We can do this. We're a team. Okay, maybe we can't do this, but we're going to keep trying. <laughs> this is going to be <laughs> Is there any old buildings? So yeah, we'll we'll schedule some deconstruction practice here. We'll just uh tear stuff down. Get some of that construction skill up after he's done planting stuff. Or We'll just move on to it. Yeah, that works too. How's the rice going? And he's reached uh, construction level one, I think. Yeah, just now. For the wood and steel for a botch construction, it makes sense that some of the resources are lost because if you ever... We're chopping wood boards to fit a building and then you did it wrong. I mean, you can't, you're not going to glue the board back together and hope it'll support whatever weight you're putting on it. You are Bob the Builder. He's got no wood. I'm not going to let him get a tree. He's fine. He won't lose his mind. He's still got extremely low expectations for as long as we're poor. It'll compensate all the horrible things happening to him. <laughs> this music is such a great vibe. Gotta ask. Gotta gotta get those preferences down. It'll be ready to harvest eventually. Really takes a long time to disassemble these brick stone walls. Look at that skill going up. That level 8 crafting is going to be so handy later, though. Just watch. He's going to be making... Lucas is going to be making the stuff. All the stuff. How are we doing on that meat? Spoils in six hours! <laughs> He's not good at cooking, but I don't have much of a choice. Cook away.
Yeah, it's super dirty in here. Can we uh, clean everything real quick? <laughs> Hopefully it's not poisonous. We will find out. And now it has a new shelf life of four days. <laughs> Let me end the poll real quick. There we go. You got 13 votes on that. 90% of you that voted like the music. All right. Uh, the, our soundtrack for today has, uh, I think, 18 songs in it. You didn't get food poisoning so far. Because we're playing without mods, there is one issue. If he makes one contaminated meal and puts it in a stack, the whole stack of food turns. So that's something to keep track of. Alright, yeah. Let's go tree chopping. Yep, and there it goes. Good thing we cooked it. The people have spoken. You can't, you guys can't hear the music? The wind sounds great. Here, let me check. You guys are right. There is no music. Wonder what's going on with that. Well, we can do this.
Gosh dang it! All right, it's fixed. <laughs> there you go. It's back. It's back. Am I am I done pressing buttons? I'm not qualified to press my own buttons. <laughs> All right, let's go haul all the rice inside. All right, I was I was saying before though that we use this. Oh my goodness! I gotta do push-ups to punish myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying before though that I I was testing this music to see if you guys liked it because we used the same eight songs for three years for 467 videos. You know, area revealed. Yeah, it was this room over here. The roof probably gonna fall too. You go to zones, remove roof area. There is one, so he doesn't crush himself. The, the rate at which Lucas's head is getting injured, I feel like something falling on it is highly likely. So, gotta make sure there's no head injuries in the, the work environment. Lucas, come over here and granite wall. Get that construction skill up. Oh, man. Good stuffies. How many of you are playing RimWorld right now? How many of you are playing? How many of you got the save file and are just following along in your own way? If you guys end up downloading this, make sure you put up your save later when you're done. I want to see what everybody else built here. We got free goats, dude. Three free goats. Actually cool. Okay, I got new plants. Let's uh, chop more wood. A bunch more wood, actually. I wonder if Lucas should live alone forever. You want to be playing world. You be playing just not the file. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm playing so slowly today. I'm doing, I'm actually kind of trying to manage wealth. Just a little bit of wealth management, you know? It's gonna take so long to get that construction skill up. I'm going to set a work zone here. A loud area. Do area one and we'll select kind of like right here for now. And then we will restrict Lucas to area one because we got stuff to do over here right now. No need to be really going anywhere else at the moment. Potatoes will be ready soon. We do got to grow more rice. Good caffeinate. <laughs> I, I think I got half a cup of coffee. Yeah, I do. I got half a cup of coffee. Got that rabbit over here. How are we doing on combat skills? We're better at shooting. So let's go over to production. Crafty craft spot. The crafting spot next to the bed over here. And when we get this fire relit, we'll make ourselves a bow. I kind of really, I really want to make the uh, animal pen though. Go to structures, fence, two, two, two. That's not big enough, I know, but it'll take us a while to build more of it. playing Stellaris right now. Stellaris is still a ton of fun. 
kind of a pricey game to get into, but a lot of fun. I, I played so much Stellaris. I would stream Stellaris, but um, we just don't have enough viewership for it. We got a visitor. Who's visiting? Bork, 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 bork. I mean, just getting RimWorld and everything that comes with it is 130 bucks. Which, between me and all the staff, because whenever a DLC comes out, I buy it for everyone else that helps make videos for me on this channel, you know? And it ends up, we I've spent over a thousand dollars on RimWorld DLC and game keys. So I just don't, I don't have no budget for games. I'm sure Tynan appreciates it too. <laughs> Bear skin sash. At minimum, when a DLC for Rimwell drops, I'm buying at least six or seven keys. So when a DLC comes out and we want to make a video, we gotta drop like four hundred dollars on the keys. Then we gotta I gotta offer everyone double rate for helping out because we gotta rush on things. And it ends up costing like six or seven hundred dollars to make a video that may get like a hundred thousand views. <laughs> oh man. I actually don't want any of this stuff right now. We're not gonna buy any of it. Let's go. Let's get our pen up. I want to I want to have a bunch of goats. We're going to have a bunch of screaming goats. <laughs> Is there a mod that makes it so the goats scream like goats? Uh, I usually got to ask for keys and most game devs will only offer one, right? So they'll only give you one key. If you need more, you got to go buy more. And then if it's for something that's not released, then you're just SOL. Can I make cheese? Dude, I got a cheese making kit IRL. I'm gonna learn how to make cheese. I'm gonna do it. I used to work for a, a cheese factory and the way I got the job when they asked me is like, what makes you wanna work here? And I was like, my body is 90% cheese. And I just figured I should make cheese cause I am cheese. And they gave me the job. <laughs> <laughs> I worked there for a month before I went YouTube full time. <laughs> Cheese Factory, Newbert Lore. There's loads of Newbert Lore. When people are looking to hire you, like when you're going to get a job, the recruiter, and if it's going to be your boss, they're going to be a lot more interested in whether they're going to be able to get along with you on a daily basis than whether or not you're actually skilled enough to do a job. Because you can train someone to do anything you need them to do at work if it doesn't require a degree. But you can't get along with everybody, right? So if, if they feel like they're going to have less fun at work having you around, right? So you're, the first step is to just get them to enjoy having you present. That's the trick. That's how you get any job. And then you don't apply to jobs on Indeed or anything. You just find who out who the recruiter is that's gonna be seeing people and email them. So I think the success rate for getting jobs on those job listing sites, I think it's like 3% for getting like a callback, 3%. Why am I talking about this stuff? We're playing video games. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get the trees here. We're gonna get this fence done. And then hopefully our goats haven't wandered away yet. And it looks like they haven't. So we'll bring them over here and then we'll have goat milk and goat, hopefully we make goat cheese maybe. Yo, Renegade, that's what I'm talking about, right? No one likes friction. Everyone wants to chill, right? Everybody just wants to chill. That's what we're doing today. Anyways, we're chilling. We're vibing. <laughs> Feel free to ask uh, game questions, by the way. If I don't have the answer, I can bring Aragon or 
or Brendan in a Discord message real quick and uh, figure something out if there's any curious questions. If there's anything you guys want to learn about or whatever. We're gonna we're gonna turn this whole place into a prosperous colony though today. You're gonna see it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be really neat. What are you doing in my house? Get out! Get! You get! Yeah, get! Yeah, outside. Shoe. Drag. Didn't even take the shoes off. So, so rude. You have people walk around. Does people ever walk around your guys' house with shoes on? I'm like a, a weeb, so I know that taking shoes off at the door is like a definite Japanese thing. But her, at least uh, in my family, even here in America, everybody takes off their shoes at the door. The best gear in the medieval area. All right, so like plate armor. <laughs> plate armor. My go-to armor kit is usually like flak pants and a devil strand duster and a cowboy hat. You can throw you can swap out the hat for a recon helmet when you get one. The other is if you got like prisoners. Prisoners are kind of dangerous if you give them guns and stuff. But what you can do is have them all have like no armor. Give them shield belts because they won't get tainted. And then give them all logs that do slightly more damage. And so then they can just go and slow down whatever you want to fight against. There's a lot of stuff. I mean, Avery, what works works, right? If it works, and it keeps them mobile. That's the big thing, because the, the tougher your armor is, the more it's usually going to reduce your mobility. All right, that's enough wandering, Lucas. Back to work. Eight raw food. How high are our construction skills now? We're just, like, slowly getting those up, too. time speed you know it's okay to play with the game running slower you know you, you get more you're able to absorb more of what's going on if you always play at three times speed a lot of bad things can happen that you'll never catch on to and then the colony can end up spiraling before you realize it not saying it will but it can all right do 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 which one is that under here? There's a pen marker. There we go. All right, let's take him up here and uh, yeah. Okay. Schedule, we're gonna unrestrict him and send him up here to go sew some stuff. Now tame the donkeys. <laughs> the donkeys would be really good for hauling stuff. We're going to go and wrangle the goats real quick, though. Rescue Neville. We're not rescuing anybody. Nope. If you need rescuing, then you've already made too grave of a mistake. Can't be saved. <laughs> Total loss. Now come on, finish the duty. Please. I could do manual priorities, but this is just easier. Is that 12? It's not quite 12. No, you're lone wolf. <laughs> Here, 
Give yourself some light, dude, and open the door. All right. So the rice has a pretty good risk of making you sick. So we're going to do until you have X where X is 2. We're going to make some rice meal here. Oh, we'll have to fetch you in a moment. There's actually not enough grass growing in here, so we do have to make it bigger. The hardest part of RimWorld for me is when I get my colony a lot bigger, just keeping track of things. Just keeping track of it all. Yeah, I got ADHD, so that makes it kind of tough. And it's usually when I start reaching my mental capacity for keeping track of things that I start missing critical elements, and then chaos ensues. Waiting for a cool character to show up. Is Lucas not cool enough? Dude, I love cheese cubes so much. Oh my gosh, I love cheese cubes. I know you probably don't care, but I like cheese. <laughs> Happiness is cheese. I'll take it even further. I have high functioning autism. Truth. That's why I'm so obsessed over RimWorld and we only make RimWorld videos. It's the autism. My autism. <laughs> it's okay. It doesn't bother me much. Alrighty. Let's go. It's time to make that bow. Alrighty, let's make that bow. Let's actually start off with some tribal wear. Need 60 fabric. Not quite there yet. Alright, that's okay. Let's go ahead and make a short bow. Go to war for cheese. All right, Renegade Ren, we'll keep you accountable. Lucas, where'd you get a block of cheese? That's three pounds. Through cheese religion? Cheese? Cause his belly, they don't want cheese. <laughs> Can you make cheese in vanilla remote? I don't think you can. I think that's vanilla expanded. For the last year, I've had vanilla expanded enabled by default. So, like, things have meshed in my mind, if that makes sense. I don't know if that happens to you guys at all, where, like, you have a certain set of mods that you just have never not ran with. And it's vanilla in your brain now. It's base game in your mind. Dude, that door is taking forever to disassemble. You thought I made the cheese? I know how to make mozzarella from scratch. It's a lot of work though. And you need a lot of milk and it takes a while. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 I didn't see anything. You guys see anything? I didn't see anything. Let me just, uh, real quick. Yep, okay, cool. <laughs> Rip those people. So when the night comes, we'll go and get the pemmican. And the short bow. And the ikwa. Ikwa. 
They killed one of the Mega Scarabs? Darn. Our defenses are getting weakened. Our natural defenses fell in the name of cheese. The cheese. There is a cheese mod. You can build cheese walls and stuff and cheese floors and cheese everything. I've got IBS, so I shouldn't eat cheese at all, but... You know, I need I need cheese in my life. How are the goats doing? Wandering? What are their needs? We're not dealing with any kind of starvation, are we? Twenty-five cloth. All right. Okay, we're gonna do something real quick. Ooh. Grow some cotton plants. And then it's nice having that rice over there, but we're gonna replant the rice down here. Then we're gonna go to the orders here, and we're gonna go to planning. And we're gonna remind ourselves that we want to wall off our gardens so that nothing badness happens to them. And then this will get expanded later. And we'll go to zones. Nor roof area. Or, uh, remove roof area. There we go. So we got that down for later. You're not a responsible cheese house owner. <laughs> I wanted to make a video one time where I could, tried to make my own pemmican, but I realized that I could, I was had a higher chance of giving myself IRL food poisoning than being successful. <laughs> it's making game foods. Starvation. <laughs> you see hungies? Use hungies. That potatoes. Get that goat milk. You dumped it out. Oh, you didn't spill it that time. Cooking that goat milk into. We're gonna pretend it's cheese because it's made of goat milk, okay? No! Lucas, no! Go equip your short bow. Get crippled by food poisoning. Pawn dead. You really don't need to worry about that right now, man. You can definitely haul back the rocks, though. You want to go haul back some granite? <laughs> actually get the pemmican. Yeah, actually, we should go get the pemmican. That's not a bad plan. Let's go hire, haul that real quick. <laughs> this dude spilled the milk, scooped it out of the dirt. <laughs> Drink it, and then he's crippled because he's lactose intolerant. <laughs> Poor Lucas. Well, I'm just moving it all outside real quick. Come on, this is the last one before they wake up. Come on, Lucas. Quickly now. Don't throw up on the food. He threw up on the food. All 
All right, the pemmican was probably the safest thing we could give you and you threw up on that with your disease. So hopefully, it, nope, it's gonna make things worse for you. Come on now, keep trying. <laughs> Dude, come on, you can do it, Lucas. Bring the, Luke! Come on, come on, how is it, bro? How is it, you got one booby trap here. You can you can keep yourself alive. <laughs> Dude, he's gonna snap. If he hasn't had a mental break before tomorrow, we'll take him to eat some of the bug goop. Where are you going? You don't need to go up there. You don't need to do that. You don't need to do any of that. You don't need to do anything. You can go home. Yo, Jared, I'm, I'm glad it helped you out. I appreciate it. The sweet, sweet jelly, yo. All right, they're asleep. Now is our chance. We're going to leave them 17 nutrient bits. That should keep us safe. Let's go eat that inside, Joey. All right, so that arrow right there, his mood is going to climb to 39%. That's pretty good. Pretty solid return on effort right there. Renegade Ren, you know what? There should be... <laughs> Puke should be relabeled as mixed nutrients, and when they throw up, it makes a mess on the floor and drops an item of two items. They're both called mixed nutrients. You get two nutrition if you eat it. Or you could call it mysterious chunks. <laughs> you could have your pawns fight over... Your starving pawns fight over the vomit chunks. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be your pawn right there. Mama, mama. Timmy threw up. What about it? Johnny's eating all the biggest chunks. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. That's one of that's an old joke my grandpa told me. Animal cleanup crew. <laughs> if you guys are in here, make sure to check the description. There's some useful in there, info in there. If you guys want to disrupt the stream, you can. I'm sorry, Lucas. I guess I just need this Lucas to be even more sick. All right, did we leave anything behind over here? Yeah, we did. Go get it. Go fetch. Actually, go fetch that. Get that one fetch. And one of them's dead, so they don't actually need as much anymore. And they don't need that either. We're running out of time to do this a little bit faster. Dude, he healed from that so quick. What's going on with his bio here? Is he just super tough? Dude, Lucas is tough. He really healed quick. guys want mm, 
No, I don't want to buy any of that. You are the goat now. <laughs> <laughs> Animatomic fluid a go it had a baby go baby and we should uh extend this out a bit as we get time for it like <laughs> 4k video oh my goodness why'd you take this form of me into the first place I think things are going really good and the game's being nice to us too which makes everything better to a degree well it helps things go more smoothly at least I shouldn't. I should keep my mouth shut. I should just not compliment any of the storytellers ever. They don't like compliments, apparently. <laughs> What's this? Who are you? Oh, well, we got the song started. The Nordic Army. Pain is virtue. Oh, gosh. This guy has really high pain tolerance. He's... Oh, no. This dude is turned up. All right. Bye-bye, Renegade. Go, go enjoy your work. Hope you have fun. Time to pray. They enter the cave. Dude, indeed. Honestly, once we get enough sorted, I want to go break this and get our, our mech our mech lord army started the issue is tox packs and stuff we don't have mods so we'll have to deal with it the old-fashioned way which is just kind of lame because it builds up on your map i don't really like so my personal opinion right this is newbert's personal opinion not of my team just me right the system for handling waste packs in game is not that enjoyable right i mean i understand it's supposed to kind of be like a limiter right but it's not a fun limiter if that makes sense I don't, I, I don't enjoy messing with it I mean you, get, you can get the trees that help you deal with the waste right and you could just shoot it off at your enemies and that's fun and stuff but like without mods there's not much else to do with it it's just stuff that you have so we're gonna take our dude here we're gonna run down here I think they're attacking immediately, so. Looks like dude's coming all the way around. Okay. How you doing over there, bud? How'd that go? Oh yeah, because I left the door open. He's able to get to the table. <laughs> all right, cool. You, you having fun in there? I don't know why I went and got close to him. That was stupid. Follow me. We're going to go for a walk. It's going to be a fun walk. A really good walk. A walk of fun. No, no, no. Don't hit me. Just walk. Ow. Dude, stab me in the butt. In the leg. My butt. My leg butt. He keeps missing, though. He's got so much drugs in him. <laughs> How does... He's so quick. I think I got Lucas killed. I think I killed Lucas by approaching this guy. We would have been totally fine if I didn't do anything at all. Let's see if we get the... Uh... <laughs> no, never mind. He's going to just get kidnapped. All right. That's the end of that. <laughs> Unless he collapses on his way out. And then we get the man in black. Will it take him longer than four hours to leave? He's going to die right after he exits the colony, of course, though. He's take. <gasps> no, he didn't. Oh, but we're too wounded. That's hilarious. 
<laughs> the go juice kept him going. We don't get a man in black this time, it seems. All right, we were talking about a cheese colony, though. So that's okay. We're going to hop back to main menu here. We're going to go to mods. And we're going to come down here and we're going to have some fun stuffs. You're wounded and you can't get up. It's okay. It's okay. We're just playing RimWorld today. No real goals. No great ambitions. We're just playing RimWorld. Let's grab ourselves Harmony real quick. Bloop. Do, 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 do. Which vanilla expanded mod adds cheese? You know what? We could do medieval. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're going to go with a theme because we always go with themes, right? So first to first, let me make a poll. I'm going to spell this wrong, just so you know. I'm try to spell it right, but it's probably going to be spelt wrong. So I don't know how to spell medieval. All right, there you guys go. Cast your votes. The poll's up. Cast your votes, chat. Cast your votes. Oh, uh, first, yes is medieval, no is tech. I, I forgot to change them. So, so, so this is the order. Yeah, yes is medieval, no is tech. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Should have changed that so it'd be clear. <laughs> so we got 38% of people vote for tech, 67% of people voting for medieval. Do you guys actually just prefer medieval runs? Is that how it, how it goes for most people? Seventy-six percent vote medieval. Twenty-four percent are voting tech. We're going to close it in 10. Make sure you've got your votes secured. 9, 8, 07, 06, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All right. Let's see what you guys wanted. You guys solidly want. That doesn't add up to 100. We're missing 2% of the vote. What happened? There was no third option. YouTube. <laughs> you ate my last two votes. Alrighty, alrighty. So medieval it be. Mid. Can't spell crap because I'm newer. I think Medieval Overhaul got taken down, didn't it? Um, um, num. Um, num, 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 num. Mmm, cheese. Mmm, new Brit Light. Cheese, cheese. Everybody should remember new Brit Light cheese. <laughs> Even YouTubers take taxes. <laughs> we do got to pay them. I don't know about taking them. I don't get to collect any. <laughs> Wait, when did we get a $1.30 of chat revenue? Do I need to do a 1.3 push up? All right. I'm going to get the uh, Steam Workshop opened up here so we can look at some mods together. Steam Workshop. 
Yep, let's go. Steam worky shop. Double the push-ups? Alright, alright, give me a moment. Uno momento, por favor. Get steam up here. Try not to dox myself on accident. Got the properties on this window. Display capture three properties. We want the go that ought to be some decent coverages all right let's transition overs there you go we're on the workshop oh we'll be looking at mods in a second four push-ups all right i really do appreciate everyone donating it does mean a lot to me. We have been struggling with things, so it really does help out. All of it does. All right, I'll bring you down here for, for the push-ups. I'll bring the mic down to the floor with me on the floor. Ooh. One. Two. My arms are so tired from working out this week. Three. Four. <laughs> okay, that's four. <laughs> Get back up. Let's bring the mic back up here. <laughs> oh, man. Alrighty. Thank you, Lee. I appreciate it. And thank you, Jared. I, I appreciate that, too. Is Medieval Overhaul still here? Or do I just not have it? Medieval... I think the overhaul is gone. I actually do think... Oh, no, it wasn't taken down. Do I just... I am subscribed to it. Can I not spell? Am I silly newbert? All right. We're doing it differently, then. I'm fixing things. Do, 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 do. There we go. This is my preferred way to do mods, guys. I know, Lucas. I wasn't a good student. That's why I'm a YouTuber. I wasn't very much good for much else. <laughs> All right, so we got that. What is the dependency here? Come on. Processing SVR processor framework and vanilla expanded framework. All right. This is a local version? Why do I, how did? Sometimes RimPy makes local versions and then it ruins everything because it doesn't update with the mod updates and then things get messed up. Can I just delete the, all right, whatever. Whatever. You still love me? Oh, I appreciate it, Alex. This <laughs> is <Just> like, yeah. <laughs> We're not supposed to be that honest. No, yeah, we should totally be that honest. There we go. That's Medieval Overhaul. Pretty dank mod. 
I actually haven't played around with Medieval Overhaul. When we did the tutorial on it, Bren's the one that went and deep dived into it and played with it a bunch and wrote the video. I actually wasn't the one that worked on that. So this is going to be an experience. I actually, no, I played with it once or twice. This is the mod that has like the hearths and stuff, right? Like the fire hearths. A speed run to off world. I don't think I could beat Grim Cleaper. Grim did it in like 20 minutes. It might be fun one day to see who can make the hat the fastest. Almost there. Got a loud tool. That's like base game already. Let's get dirt pass. Make a pretty place. Make it pretty. And then I need to stop being so pushy with characters to fight because this is how I always ruin my runs. <laughs> I make dirt mistakes all the time. I'm really cautious when I'm recording Let's Plays though because it sucks when you record it like 30 hours and then Pawn dies and you're like, <laughs> you gotta start over. <laughs> You'd think you could just re got, revive the dude with dev mode, but it breaks the consistency of the video, so it's really just ruined, period. Weapon jams, CMDR builder. I don't even know what mods that I got. We, so many of the mods are just from videos. So we've apparently talked about a lot of these. So what do you guys want to add for this? What mods you guys want to throw in here? Give us, give us your, 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 your asks. Oh, geez. Guns galore. We're doing medieval. There's no guns. Melee animation. Supreme melee continued. Ooh. Melee hunting, melee psychasts, industrial melee, hunters use melee. Hydra man, how are we supposed to have guns in a medieval run? Everybody chose medieval over tech. Gotta, gotta get with the theme, dude. Oh, let's get AI upscaled tech. No, AI upscaled textures. Combat Extended, man, that, that mod needs some uh, compatibility improvements. How about this? I'll, I'll, do you, I'll try to meet you up with the, the Yayo mod. I know it's not the same. I already know it's not the same. tool sure combat extended needs some compatibility improvements to be having me throw it in mob list it used to be i used to fight with aragon we get into arguments with each other in discord because i like combat extended more but after a while it was just too tough building mod lists you know i mean things would run but then certain parts of mods wouldn't work Apothecary. Ooh. Ashtung. Yeah, we can have have positions. Alright. We're just going with all the QLL mods here. <laughs> Does anybody have any mods for making things look cool in a medieval run? Oh, we got biomes, islands. We can have a medieval island. So many gosh dang mods in here. How many are it? 1,732 inactive mods. I have a lot of mods. A magical rim world. 
Oh, wait. That's a pretty big impact, so we'll do a poll. Since we're doing medieval, I'll ask people if we want magic or no magic. Magic or no magic, people? Do we want wizardry? Do we want medieval wizardry? Giddy up. <laughs> oh, yeah, so on some melee animations, I gotta go sub that mod. That's neat. Someone put a lot of work into this one. This mod aims to spice up the regular RimWorld melee combat by adding custom handmade animations for attacking and moving. Does this have compatibility with Yayo? Yayo is it does. Not compatible with Rim Threaded or Dual Wheel. Okay. Yes, yeah, so this is gonna work fine. Alright, cool. And it's installing and it's starting to download. And then the only thing that we've got to do when we run this is we got to go back to RimPy. Bring it over here. we got to save real quick. Close it. Wait for this to finish. Down there. It's at 95%, 96. And then we reboot RimPy. Dubs bad hygiene in a medieval run? Whoa. Okay. We might have to play on like a calmer difficulty. All right, melee animation. There we go. And I'll actually throw that right under. Where's where did I put Yayo at? Faces of Rim. Oh, landforms? Okay. Faces of the Rim Dizzy Color. Geological landforms. Okay. Dubs mint mini map. And then someone said Dubs bad hygiene. Rim kit. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I do like sky whites. But that's not medieval. Crawl tech? What the heck? That sounds like a Factorio mod. Well, I got it. <laughs> it's in here. That's not medieval at all. <laughs> What's it? Ancient Armory? Okay. Ancient Armory. Do I even have that? You guys are throwing out some ones I don't even got. Ancient Armory. Ah, huh. I like the Viking theme. I am, I am genetically more Norwegian than anything, so the the Viking fits. <laughs> Vehicles expanded. We can get the wheelbarrow. We can get the wheelbarrow if that's what you want to do. The 
wheelbarrow, simply wheelbarrow. Does this require? It does require the vehicle framework. All right, so we got, got to save again. Cheers. <laughs> some map preview let us hit save on that real quick and then we'll sort it there we go that's a bit better for the mod list divine order somebody said did we even cover that in the races mod video no we didn't okay sit so back oh oh the wizards all right and you guys did vote for magic so we got all the magic we're going to throw in there. There we go. Did it mess up Kleeper's game? <laughs> oh, I bet it did. Yeah. Magic. What? We got alpha mythology. just all alpha is it all been rolled into alpha mythology did the devs just roll it all together is it just all one thing now yeah it has all been rolled together okay works for me all right alpha animals okay Alpha biomes in there. And alpha buffalo. Okay. Sword again. Do, 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 do. Alpha vehicles, Neolithic. I can get behind that. That works. We're going to hit save on that real quick again. If you guys don't know how to use RimPy, hopefully uh, this is educational for you. RimPy is the best uh, mod manager for RimWorld, by far. By far. If you're not using it, what are you doing? What's wrong with you? Why are you using RimPy? RimWorld. <laughs> Do I play Magic the Gathering? Yes, I play Magic the Gathering. My Planeswalker is better than yours. I, I prefer Commander mode. Or uh, Commander games. Have not played in a while, though. You're building a Commander deck right now? Heck yeah, dude. Magic the Gathering is great. War Crimes expanded too. Oh goodness. 
Alpha props? Parks and garden? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Give me that. Give. Give new version. My favorite, absolute favorite way to play RimWorld these days is because I'm used to just playing it super hard all the time is to get it on a really lazy, easy difficulty and just build a really cool looking base and be God. <laughs> I, I know that's probably not everyone's favorite way to play, but sometimes it's just really relaxing to not have to be stressed when you play and it's the world is your oyster, you know? Right, let's bring Rimpi back up. So what do, what were people asking for before? Rim Atomic we can't do because it's not fitting the theme that we're aiming for, which is medieval. Rim Atomic's not at all medieval. We got Minyard Medieval in here, so he's going to lock everyone down too. War Crimes expanded. Oh, man. Okay. I'll put it in. Doesn't mean we're going to be torturing people, though. This... Temperate expanded. Most of these are just not compatible anymore, I guess. They probably all run fine. Blip. Is it just gonna say game version mismatch? Modern game version mismatch. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's broken. Oh yeah, layered wall destruction is really good. I like that one. Layered wall destruction. I, I like how the new version of Windows likes to play ads within your desktop. That's great. I, I love getting all the news slammed into my face. <laughs> yeah, everything's getting rolled together. All right, we'll, we'll get them out of here. The worst it's gonna do is just give me a bunch of red error messages. Come on. That's just the, the item IDs will overlap each other and they'll be the same. No, you don't. It's a part of the operating system. You can't say no. If I hit the Windows button and I just wanna search my computer, we're gonna see what's new in the news. There's gonna be ads running. And there's in order for them to do that, there's a a lot of sketchiness that I feel security wise that has to be going on for that to even function. So. The Europe Chad version don't have. So this PC, when I got it new, I had ordered, I had, it was supposed to have Windows 10 on it, but they're like, we gave you Windows 11 for free. And then the toolbar didn't even work because the Windows 11 had come out like a week prior. And I'm like, you guys, I, bought this of Windows 10 and they're like well you get 11 I'm like give me a key for 10 and they said no and I had to go buy a key for Windows 10 for my brand new PC wipe the OS of my brand new PC install a new OS on my brand new PC because they didn't give me the thing I paid for thank you origin thank you so much origin great great customer service Newbert, I'm done being spicy. What, what what do we got here? Vanilla building expanded architect. You guys said layered, right? Layer. I went on a went on a a rant. Layered wall deconstruction. We got it. We do got it. Did I just put it in already? Am I drawing a blank on myself? Yes, I am. Okay. Weapons expanded medieval. All right. Don't got medieval, huh? Well, we got tribal in there. There we 
There we go. Throw the save on that. Plants expanded. How how like inundated with options are we gonna be? How much menu digging are we gonna have to do? Rib war. What is rib war? Is this just a joke mod? You want rim war instead? Is that what you're asking about? Wait, what's going on here? Version 1.1? Get rid of that one. I don't know if, what's going on here. Oh, so they're just different versions of the same thing. Rimor is laggy. Someone said outposts expanded. Outposts. Did we already put it in here? That's oh, right here. I'm just drawing. Blah, blah, blah. Why can't I spell medieval? Why is this word so hard to spell? Why is Newbert dumb? <laughs> Let me end this poll. <laughs> oh, tenants. Tenants continued. LTS tenants or tenants continued? Oh, they're the same. Man, we still have 64 people in the stream. Thanks thanks for uh, sitting around to build a mod list. It's the community mod list. I'll put a string for this in the Discord for everybody afterwards. Medieval, more harvest designators. Midi whoa, midi whoa, whoa. wow. You see, you guys pay for my health insurance on Patreon. You watch the videos and the ads get my food. So, because me and all my brain problems, I can stay home and, and make you smile with video games. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You make new appreciate, yeah. Blue Prince. I think I got the broken one in here. Which one is it? <laughs> dude, my health insurance probably wants to get rid of me, dude. All the doctor's appointments I've been to. Not even like within the first three months of getting my new insurance. I had to go to the dentist twice because I had like cavities. Started seeing the psych, the head doctor, you know. Gave me gave me meds for my sad, which is gone by the way. Started going to the gym, so they'll probably be happier about that. But I was, I was sure they sure were paying out for me. <laughs> they sure, we're spending a lot of money on little old me. Blueberries, what's going on with this? Wait, cheese. Where's the cheese? Cheese. That ain't right. That ain't right. How do I not have a cheese mod? Ah. <sighs> Oh man, I feel better seeing these. This call it soothes me to see cheese mods. Soothing. Oh, cheese. Survivalist additions? What's this? 1.0? Oh, 1.0. We go back and mod the earliest version of RimWorld for a video. Oh, someone says tilled soil. If one of you guys can go and make the most realistic mod list for RimWorld, we'll play it on a stream. But it has to be like as reflecting IRL as closely as possible without like, 
you know, unclothed pawns. Cooking is panda as cheese. All right. Which one do you guys want? Just this or this? They're made by different modders. They're different mods. Which one? You got two options. First or second? Three. Two. Okay. Give it to me. Make some medieval sushi. Yeah, we need the vanilla fishing spin. Then add it. Go ahead. Apply changes and sort. See, this is why you need rim pie. It's so great. It says there's an error. You don't have this mod. It'll just throw it in the list if you don't have it. And if you don't have the mod subbed, it will go and sub the mod for you and then add it to the list. Such good stuff. Wow. Why don't more people use rim pie? Why don't more people use rim pie? I'm going to make a poll. I'm making a poll. Do you use rim pie? Do you use rim pie? Newbert has to know. It's it's breaking my soul in the pieces thinking that many of you might not use it. Realistic darkness. We don't want realistic dark. Rim HUD for 1.3. Satellite, that mod I heard has, it might be better now. Let me check the comments. Looks like it's still wonky. Whoops, that was too far. A dick doll. Still using mod. No! Why do so many of you not use? No! I'm closing this poll. You kill. You guys are destroying my soul. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh no. To be fair, the in-game mod manager mod was kind of incorporated in the base game at 1.4, so I'm almost out of cheese. You didn't know Rimpi existed until now you know. Now you know. And it can add and load strings all the time. You can create mod packs and stuff within here. Um, don't upload them, obviously, but you can create mod packs for yourself. Throw it on a flash drive and take it between your game systems. Give it to a friend. Rimpi, Rimpi. Oh yeah, Rimpi is its own application, unfortunately. So, almost there. All right, what do we got here? Other mods. Yeah, I got Rimhood. It's in there. It's in there somewhere. I threw it in. Simple stairs. What's going on with this? Someone said nice buildings. Tables plus. Simple stairs. I'll take it. We'll take it. Oh yeah, that's something we gotta do. All right, so first, let me hit save here. We'll close this and we'll get the simple stairs in. We're gonna throw in all these effect spots because they look nice. They all look nice. The song that's running right now is one I like more. What's the name of that medieval storage mod? Where is Simple Stairs at? Am I blind? Hmm. Did I not wait long enough? Okay, okay, give me a moment. Definitely got it. Oh, is it all together as one? There, there it is. There it is. There she blows.
Simple sidearms is in. There you go. All right, how are you guys feeling about this? We got 72. We could do some more for more looking cool stuff. We didn't really add a whole lot of medieval mods. We just have medieval overhaul and that's it. Okay, you go ahead and sort. Need deep storage for this. Alright, fly chains and go. Castle walls is indeed one that fits medieval, yeah. Guess we'll get rid of the castle walls in exchange for these instead. You guys think we got enough? Oh yeah, quarry mod for sure. We got that on, right? And primitive storage has a way to keep your food cold, I think. Then what's the name of the mod that keeps people out of your stuff? Uh, what's the name of the mod that keeps people from attacking you that are above your tech level? Figure we throw that on here just so we can stick to our theme. Does none of us remember? Dang. I'm trying to remember what it's called. Um. Oh, uh, ignorance is bliss. register might not be able to yeah we got common sense and a loud tool in there medieval overhaul has castle walls oh that's good that's good to know the uh the the one first this castle walls that i put in before these have like a thousand health or like some uh, absurd amount of wall health Common sense, I think, makes them derp a bit. I know in 1.4 they have more common sense, just from base game. Here we go. Or you know what? Let's get rid of basic medicine. Let's throw Apothecary in there, because I don't actually know anything about that mod, but I do want to explore it. Not compat? Alright, this one then. Oh, Medieval Overhaul Apothecary Plants Patch. So should I put that and get rid of this? And there's no errors, good stuffs.
That's always fun, room style level up. We can level them up with skills and stuff. All right, and then there's one more we might need to get. I'm trying to remember, I just lost it. It was in my head and it's gone. No, my brain, bring it back. Maybe a piece of cheese will fix it. Aha, uh -huh, we got him in Yard Medieval. We got him, don't you worry. Oh yeah. Portraits of the rim. This one. Throw that in there. I'm going to export this list real quick. Bloop. Secret mod lists. I'm actually going to put this one over here real quick. Factions expanded, medieval, and neolithic. Okay. have tribals? I think I put them in. So many. So many vanilla expanded mods. All the uh, vanilla expanded videos we've been working on for these past two months, when we're done, we're going to combine them into one two and a half hour video. And then we will have truly talked about every vanilla expanded mod in one video. I think I got tribals in here already. Yeah, it's in there. Okay, I'm just having a brain fart. Not my fault. Alrighty. Anything else? Did I miss what someone asked for? Trade UI? Trade UI revised. Expanded. and stuff. Whoops. Let's get a better look at that right there. Nomad scavenger. Picking mods. Yeah. We're just kind of. Floors are a worthless mod. Furniture expanded. Take Psycast expanded for sure. More plants kind of makes the world look way too busy. So we're gonna. I wanna leave that one out personally.
Take trading expanded too. Okay. All right. Yeah, we already got fishing. That's in there. So I'm going to export this list again. Loop. Go to the desktop real quick. And we're going to get ourselves running here. So we're going to overwrite that mod list. We're going to save this and we'll run it in a moment. Let's get back to the desktop here. This is that for you guys real quick. So we're going to switch back to the game. Sorry, the screen's blank for just a moment. Oh, you guys want real runes? Okay. Well, I'll do that real quick. It'll take just a moment. I'm not going to throw that one in the mod list because we already got it going. I will throw that up in there. All right, so now you guys can hop in Discord and grab your hands on that if you want it. Game is booting up. Here we go. Hopefully, we don't crash. I don't think we had a lot of red mods. I think it was all clear. Yeah, no errors. At least we shouldn't have any. Let's we'll see if the game can finish initializing. We're uh, booting up the game real quick. be crashing <laughs> we, we kind of just added stuff willy-nilly so we'll see give it some more time oh no <laughs> all right we'll launch it one more time this time i won't uh change any of my screens while it's booting Give it five more minutes. <laughs> Load order. Optimize the texture before. Honestly, not that many mods. It wasn't even a hundred mods. Looks like it's going to boot fine this time. I'm going to go re-pour my cup of coffee. I'll be right back now. coffee my lifeblood and it's done oh my 
Oh, all right. Well, look at that. We got some errors. Whew. Alrighty. Walk the airs off. How many do we got? Oh, these are nothing. That's nothing. That's nothing. Alright. Restless Raid. New Empire. Renegade Lord. Tavern Owner. The walls of the city were never reassuring. Neither was the bustle of urban life that could suck the soul out of a lich given time. What opportunities you could find were unsuitable for you for so many, many reasons. One, a lack of fitness, while another, a lack of heartlessness. It was this environment that told you to leave, with but raw materials and simple tools to fashion your dream, for you aspired to a home out in the wilderness, a hearth that could welcome many a weary and worn traveler, rogue or hero, it would shelter them all. With any hope comes risk, and this was one you could not ignore. Reports from the local garrison indicated an increased bandit presence, and crime was on the rise. Even with the most careful preparations, a criminal would most likely follow your trail. But you took the leap of faith and stepped across the threshold of the city with wilderness ahead and treachery behind you march away i kind of like the tavern owner idea but i mean we could do what you guys want to do is battle brothers lone wolf we got to make sure we pick one that fits the the medieval run style <laughs> ducky <laughs> yeah what a minor error yeah All right, so what are you guys thinking here? What do you what do you guys want to run with? What do you guys want to roll with through this one? I'm going to take it a lot slower and not get anybody killed this time. I'm not going to walk Lucas up to the guy that totally would have bled out on his own if I just left him be. <laughs> oh, dang. Uh, chat wasn't updating. I just refreshed it. There's a lot of new stuff. Let me read real fast. Ugh. Did you add hospitality because tavern would be best for it? Yeah, I added hospitality. Yeah. Tavern. Everybody says tavern. Tavern it is. We will be a tavern owner. And we have the level up and everything. Well, we can have a leveling up tavern master. Woo. The tavern man. Let's go with the adventure story. That's what we were on last time, and I got him killed. Usually when we're streaming, we always do losing is fun, and then I got to min-max everything because we'll die otherwise, and then we can't explore. We can't explore. All right, let's go on Chill Run again. We got really good seeds that time. Chill Run. That be our seed. That be the dream. Let's generate away. Coffin Meltel, one by two bedrooms. Tavern Master. Tavern Master is a good game, by the way. Just got updated, I think. I am a big fan of Tycoon games. Like, uh, b Big Ambitions. I'm waiting for the next update before I do another run of that game. That was right. What kind of bug? Let's try that again. <laughs> this <is> broke. <sighs> Oh, <laughs> what could possibly be broken? Okay, can we click a site still? Oh, man. <laughs> I wonder what mod is doing this. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
first cancel, maybe it'll work. Oh. We swipe random site. Let's go uh back. <gasps> we can back out of it! Let's go! <laughs> this is how you keep your brother from playing your Rimworld game. He'll think it's broken. <laughs> Alright, let's go. <laughs> Someone clip that. That's so silly. <laughs> Oh, you don't run committed with mods, Taco Sniper. Your game will crash out, and then you'll lose your save. The stream is cropped, you think? Oh, gosh. It is. It really is. Let's go back to recording. Yes. Yes. There you go. Much better. I think he's fixed. Yeah, that, that'd be it. That'd be it for us. <laughs> Don't ask me what the moan is. The traffic cone, you want the traffic cone named after you? Alright, we have some hostility lulls. Hostile lulls around here. The keeps on the coves are pretty good, but this is a dark forest. Temperate Wasteland? You want to see the monster chat that Debug created? Oh, no! No! It's okay. It will be fixed. We'll, we'll do We forget it out. Forget it out. Forget it out. <laughs> I keep snacking and stuff because I went to the gym and then we just started the stream right after the gym. I didn't eat anything since yesterday. <laughs> just been drinking coffee. Hunger suppression, that's what it is. I laugh like a villain. It says there's probiotics in it. Does that mean my yogurt is alive? Also, since mushrooms breathe oxygen, does that make them meat? Ravine? Temperate wasteland. Snow? In the snow? A tavern in the snow? Oh man, no. Oh. What well, we want to be able to run the tavern, don't we? D uh, Lucas, why do you assume I know what I'm saying half the time? I, I there's no script in front of me. I can't look back and hear what I said. No, I, I quit dating because YouTube kept getting in the way of my relationships. I wasn't giving my partners the time that they deserved, and it created tension in the relationship. So I exited the dating pool because I am YouTuber now. <laughs> or the red biome. I assume if I ever st if I ever end up in a relationship with anyone again, it's gonna pro they're probably gonna have similar work to what I do because they'll better be able to understand. I don't know. 
This is my. This, I'm just guessing. Don't don't ask me for relationship advice. <laughs> ravine. All right. I'm gonna click around and look for a ravine. I'm gonna keep clicking around. I'm gonna have a lot of fun clicking around. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Quicky quick. Oh yeah. Quick click. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. In fact. I've actually never done a ravine before. What the heck does that even look like? What is it? Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll do it your way instead of my way. It takes 10 hours. Dude, even after my eye surgery, things still shake when I look at them. Where's ravine at? Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. I hope I didn't just mouse over it. Is it just Rift? Is that it? Or Caldera? You want a Caldera? Oh, Crater is a ravine? Okay, okay, okay. Crater, 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 cat, cave in. Dude, my eyeballs. Work with me, eyes. This text is so small. There it is. Can there be a crater not in the desert? Oh, I can see why now. It, it funnels everyone. All right. Can we find a, a crater with grass, maybe? <laughs> no, I guess not. A boreal forest crater. It's got kind of a growing season, but it's frozen. Where is the crater? Oh, my eyes. <laughs> Everybody just wants it to be crazy difficult gameplay. <laughs> Valley is most ravine like. You're not wrong. What? The dark forest in the medieval of the Deadlands? Barely any ways in? Barga's right next door. Alright. I guess we can settle here. What do you guys think? Is this good enough? Are we are we doing here? There you go. Enjoy 800 typos. I'm just waiting for the Reddit moderators to start screaming. Yo, Taco Sniper, that's totally fine. All right, 50% of people say this is a good spot. Right, we're loading in. This is near polluted tiles. You will get acidic smog here roughly every 45 days. Are you guys sure about your vote still? We have a lot of plant death, a lot of rot, a lot of hiding inside. This is good. All right. You guys sure? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
one. It's at 53 percent. This is bad. Everybody's just saying no. <laughs> Let's go, boy. You guys gotta you gotta pick your vote. How many people have voted so far? All right, like 30 more of you guys still need to vote. You guys know how to do it. You guys know how to do it. Cast your votes. Come on, get your votes in. Is it a yes or a no? It was just more and more yeses. You hate democracy. <laughs> Everybody just wants to be here. In the burial forest, the dark forest, where acid rains. All right, it's acid rain, guys. This what you... you can't change your vote. You want to change your vote? <laughs> you guys didn't know about the toxic thing one more time. <laughs> it's sixty percent. Yes. How many people are even in, in the stream right now that can even vote? I don't even know how many people are watching. There's 56 people watching. Like 20 more of you guys could vote. But it looks like 20 people want to withhold their vote. Half of you guys are withholding your vote. So we're going to we're going to end it in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Yeah, I don't want to go there either, but that's what, that's the popular vote, so we're going in. We're going to create a custom fluid, ideological with collectivists, and we're just going to yeet ourselves in there. Wait, wait, wait. No, we're not going to prohibit that. What are you talking about? Alrighty, we got three dudes. We're not changing anything. We're just launching in. Mercy, please. Oh, man. All right. We got three pawns. First three people to say they want a name is going to get a pawn. All right. Lucas gets a name. Petra is going to get a name. Heck, this is a new money. I don't know. Alrighty, we're gonna name him at random. Lucas, Petro, and Sniper. Almost spilt yogurt everywhere. That would've been bad. So we have a bunch of dried meat and stuff. Alrighty. Do we have any animals? Alright, there you go. You're a raptor, Angel. <laughs> That's it. We're out of stuff to name. The Pawn Images mod is Portraits of the Rim. Okay. Let's take a look here. What we're working with. Well, we've got no shortage of bugs. There's definitely, there's plenty of bugs and places for bugs to, to arrive from. We have three hives. Wow. Someone's going to mental break and die to bugs. It's going to happen. <laughs> Lucas, you want to switch? <laughs> yeah, Sniper, it is really cool. All right. Let's get our uh, our store going. 
got your map settings for patience and all that too. What a whole lot of mods. What, what, just a whole, whole lot of mods. We got menu nightmare. That's what we got. Nightmare menus. Let's start off by claiming this mess right here as our own home. Then we'll go to the walls here and kind of fill in some of the gaps. That's gonna have to do for now. And we'll go to work here. We're gonna just gonna make everyone capable of everything for now because there's a million things to do. There's only three pawns. We will tighten things up later when we're able to tighten things up. Alrighty. Map is pretty good, yeah. It's a lot, to, there's a lot here. I just can't believe that I was too impatient to let the pawn bleed out on the last run. Unbelievable. Unacceptable behavior, Newbert. Be patient. You knew better. You just wanted to have it end that right, right away. <laughs> Alright, let's get this all done real quick. And while they play with that, we're gonna go look at how our research page looks. There's a lot to do here. Like for a second, we got stone stacking. We gotta figure that how to do. Unacceptable, you let me die. Is that a giant forest constrictor? That's great. That's fun stuff. Nothing like your colonists, your colonists getting wrapped up by a giant constrictor. <laughs> How would I rate my RimWorld skills? Excellent at early to mid game, horrible at late game. Yep, just like that. Mainly because my memory skills are crap. My active memory skills, I should say, like recalling in the moment. Oh, well, that's convenient. We will just immediately... How many pawns we got? Three, so that's 14, 28. We will turn all of this into rice, because that's how I'm used to doing things. Where'd rice go? I'm so dang blind. It's in here somewhere. since I had eye surgery my eyes are messed up dude I don't even think it's in here I didn't see rice <laughs> Petra what WTF Newbert it's trees fiber coin <laughs> wheat wasabi strawberries soybean oh it's a different texture <laughs> When I get to later on, it's remembering the armor values and like which 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 things layer together better, and then check remembering to check dudes that are attacking you, their gear and stuff. Because sometimes I'm just in a a hustle, and like guys come on the map and I don't even look at their skills, so I poorly match my pawns up against them because I'm silly. I know all the things I do wrong. I know all the things I do wrong.
tasty yogurt. Let's get all this mess done and taken care of. I only get colonists via breeding. That's a that's a tall order. Whoa! It's an angry death stinger. All right, I can't just have the speed up high anymore because the things in the wild will just kill you for the sake of killing you. It seems. Let's take a look at this death stinger. <laughs> Boy, he ran the heck away when they saw it. Yo, Trungston, Duxton, I'm glad you enjoy stuff here. Appreciate you being around. This uh mods that everybody picked out here in chat. Make cheese venerated. <laughs> do, do, do. I have like no plan for this pile of mods that we're running, so I gotta think for a bit what we're gonna do. Well, let's start off with getting the plants planted. I think that's a good, a really good start. Did we have any weapons or anything? I don't think we did. We're gonna have to just clear parts of the forest out so I can see. Chop all of that down. Zones, build roof area. That fixed. I think there's uh, potential for it. I mean, technically what you're asking for it leads us to having the highest quality pawns and a whole lot of wealth control. That is how Tynan wants you to get more pawns. The debugs logs. Let's go check our debug logs, see how hard it crashing. what any of that's for so <laughs> we'll just move on seems about right are you talking about Wallace and Gromit over there because they go to the moon and the moon is made of cheese he brings crackers with him to space hey what are you guys doing over there get closer come sit with me Come sit with Newberry. Yeah, get a little closer. There, there. Best spot. We need to get some lights in here. Furniture. So much stuff. <laughs> they, they may have quite a bit to haul in the morning. You got wood up here though. Are you using like a specific kind of wood? Oh no, it's weird. It's just weird. I I can pretty surely bet we probably won't starve. There seems to be a lot of, well, options among things here. 
Someone died over by the hornet nest. All right, you, you need to quit. You got five construction and you're doing this? Huh. Chunks of spacecraft are falling. Thank you. Finally. All right, let's go to production here. You can build a simple research table in... Let's do this room. A mining spot, a place for mining salt. All right. Build a butcher's block up here. A cooking stove. Requires granite blocks, okay. Timber, it's a trestle, so you make some clothes. Oh, so we can get rid of taint on objects with this? That's pretty cool. Someone's able to do magic, you think? Someone can do magic. Grow extra limbs to improve manipulation. What? Can Lucas, what are you going to tell me you can grow arms? Enchant you your weapon here. Oh, a polymorph? <laughs> you are the main character now. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, nettle good for? Commonly called hemp nettle, or no, it's a. It's a okay. What are you running away from, Lucas? The hornet. Does it change him? All right. No, it's just turning that. It resisted it. It's a Pokemon. It resisted. What do we what do we do now? We we weren't able to transform the beast. No laws against the animals on the rim. This is true. But also hear me out, there's also no laws against them not getting us dead. Zone, dumping stockpile, let's put that right over there. Let's go to orders, halt, let's get this junk out of here. We got a lot of cleanup to do. They've got food and stuff, we're gonna do something real quick just so we can have four times speed. There you go, that's a lot better. Just get things flowing, get things moving. I guess we, someone did say they'd install the four times speed mod and that did not end up on the list, it seems. Well, who's upset and why? That's a lot of reasons to be upset. If, if you want, you could just simply walk into another room and be happier, I swear. <gasps> Would you look at that? Just being somewhere else fixed your problems. And then you can go to sleep. You want to be the test subject for Lucas's magic? Petro. Come back, Petro. Return to us, Petro. We'll all be transformed. All of us. All of us. <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> it's Lucas laying in bed going, ah! Everybody just turns into rats. <laughs> okay. Okay, no. These hornets are out of control.
Can Lucas even fight these dudes? Why don't you enchant your body real quick, too? Get out here. Fight. Help fight. Melee attack it. The Death Hornets. Oh gosh. That's pretty bad. It's pretty, uh, not good. Pretty not good for you, Lucas. Probably, probably doesn't feel very good, does it? Yeah. There's more? Where is there more at? Oh, there's one inside? Lucas. You must defeat it. You must get the Death Hornet. You must get it. Get the Death Hornet. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh, too big target. <laughs> Alright, someone needs to take care of Lucas. Lucas is a wounded person. He is a wounded fellow. Alright, who has the, the absolute best doctoring skills? Sniper. I'd like you to tend to Lucas. And then you come in here and queen the room. Uh, that's decent. That's getting some decent tens. All right, I'm going to pause the game for just a moment. I'm going to go let the dogs outside and set a timer for 10 minutes, too. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, the, the all the babies. What is the what? What major thing is the colony missing? What what major thing is my colony missing? A horseshoe pin. That could be ranged. We don't want it to get back up, so if you go punch it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Give them something. I mean, they can walk around, sit by the fire, chat at a table, you know, but eventually they'll want something more to do. Another thing you may not have known is that uh, torches generate heat. I don't know about these ones, but in-game. Yeah, you'd be safe here. It'd be fine. It's, it's a free bed. No one will charge you. Lay in the free bed. Oh, ho. There we go. You can sleep in the blood room. <laughs> What's up, Lucas? Do you have brain damage? 
No, 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 you don't have brain damage. You, it's just a death stinger. You can just ex- <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, we'll just clean the room real quick. New magic. <laughs> Woo, what did I do? Oh, I accidentally tabbed off the window. There we go, he's back. You want new magic? You wanna unlock new magical abilities? We give Lucas a bunch more strength. Petro. His negative 12 strength will fix that for you. Then Sniper. His negative charisma will fix that. There you go. There you go. There you go. Everybody got points in their levels. <laughs> We actually start doing something here. Did you guys plant your food at all? All right, let's go to the work tab. There's simply too much crap for them all to do. That's what's going on. Well, they're almost done repairing the base, so they're finally gonna start working. There we go. There's what we like to see. Stuff getting done. And if we go to the furniture here, production. We can't make any kinds of shells. That's uh, that's something to keep in mind. It's a mad squirrel, where? Lucas will deal with it. Lucas will deal with all of the problems forever. Petro, you help too. Stand still so it gets distracted. Now it's time to bring the dogs in. So we're going to leave the game running on uh, one time speed and I'm going to walk away from the computer. There we go. The, the pets are all taken care of now. He hopes, imagine someone goes berserk and kills everyone while he's gone. I hope not. I'm back now though. And the dogs have gone potty, so we don't have to get up for them for another two hours.
We've been here for almost four hours though, so if none of you have gotten up to stretch, make sure you do that. Keep that blood flow. There we go. Lucas's magic level. There you go. There you go, Lucas. What do you want, Lucas? What do you want? It's you, Lucas. What do you want? Music's so good. More arms. Transmutation. You've got one more point available, Lucas. Oh, that wasn't you that commented that. Dang. Sorry, Lucas. Well, you've got transmutation abilities now. What does that allow you to do? It allows you to transmute one material into another material of equal or greater value. You want to enchant weapon? Give you some elemental edge. Alrighty. Oh, it's okay. Your guy will become a Kung Fu master in the future anyways. He'd loot it, learn it at some point. And honestly, being able to enchant things into a greater thing is gonna be useful for the whole, the whole colony. All the marble trunks, please. What were you doing jiggling with the money? Just hold that door open. Let's get all the sandstone chunkies out of here. Fix the wall right there. They've had enough of us. <laughs> we'll use this room for something else. All right, see you later, Taco Sniper. You just want to execute a Death Stinger? I mean, there wasn't a need for it. Also, all the Death Stingers are dead, so we just go have their stuff. Let's go get that honey. Bloop. So that's the first of the farm bits. So we kind of have to carve our bit of society out of this forest because it's so overgrown. And we're probably gonna wanna learn stone cutting immediately if we're gonna do that because everything is flammable everywhere. All of it. Everything. If every part of everything, all of it will catch on fire and burn. So with that in mind, I think it's best we learn how to do stuff with stone and whoever is the best researcher that we got, right? Whoever's best at that, that's what they do. So sniper, 
you have a new goal in life. A goal to clean this room. Haul the dried meat out of it. That's a dumping stop. What are you doing? Okay. And then go to the floors tab. And build a floor in this room. Room. Are you unable? Oh, we got to name our people. Hi, I'm just playing and really the first time in the end game. It is better to make bionics first or the best armor and helmet. I would say that I would go for recon armor and stuff and then get some bionics on your dudes and then get cataphract stuff. But I mean, at the end of the day, you want bionics and cataphract, right? If you have a lot of really injured pawns that have a lot of good skills, then you might want to get some bionics to fix them up, right? Till the soil. Oh, yeah, we do got tilled soil, man. Yeah, yes, Lucas, we must till the soil. We got to name our home, though, first. I mean, I think the locust armor is really good with the jump pack on it for mid game. You did say late game, though. All right. The Pact of the Tree. <laughs> I don't know what else to put, guys. All right. I didn't get a response, so that's what it is. Someone needs to get in here and build a floor for this poor person. Thank you. Come on, finish the job. Clean the room. Yeah, we've been going for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a long stream. I'm trying to earn like 50 bucks a stream. That'd be pretty. That's that's my number. So we're that that's that's what my goal is. We be earning on the streaming. Transmutate on the dude. I want to try that. Ability failed. Target is not visible. Okay, come over here. Stand here. Stand there. Where'd it go? Yeah. The whole stack of wood became a pelt. All right. Lucas, I'm not sure that was good. I'm not feeling like that was better. Oh gosh, so much vomit. Get all this stuff out of here. Why is there so much stuff on the floor in here? There's steel ingots on the ground. There's a dead bug in the door that lets anyone walk inside. Let's get this stuff out of here. Did you just keep it in your pocket? You just went to sleep with the marble chunk? Petro. I, what did I tell you about taking rocks to bed? So much wood. Such an unbelievable amount of wood, actually. No. When they get done learning how to do stone stuff 
And is the tilled soil better than just uh, normal soil? Rich soil is fertility of 140%. We go to the order zones, floors. It does not say. Let's make one real quick. Let's get out here and see if it's better. Tilled soil is 200%. So, yeah, tilled soil is 60% better than what we've been messing with. Sniper is starving? What the heck's wrong with you, Sniper? Lucas won't feed Sniper. Lucas is like, no, I've had enough. I live alone. <laughs> Thank you, by the way, for the the warning. We're gonna get all the stuff around the base cut down completely. Everything is getting chopped. Where's the cut plants button at? It's about five tile wide should be good. This ought to be good to, as a fire stop, a fire break line. And then if we go to floors, do we have dirt path? Does this have a value, inherent value? It is one. Okay, so let's go to dirt path. That's our fire line, people. You want to polymorph yourself into an animal? Okay. I don't know how useful you'll be after that. I think it's going to be bad. It got botched. What happened to you? Oh, nothing happened to you. We're getting raided by the, the Dynasty of Forum, though. Who are you? It's level zero. Oh, you got more levels. Dead bug in the middle. Take the money, you crazy man. Oh, man, I got a push-up. Oh, but the game's paused. Dead bug in the middle, dead bug in the middle of the door. Stirring in high attack. <laughs> okay, we'll get the dead bug. Let me, let me just do these three push-ups. kind of sharp on the ground right there. Oh. Appreciate it. Thank you for the donation. Yeah, it's a whole $3. I, I appreciate it. What's going on down the hall? There's a footman speared through on the ground. There's a bunch of dead people over here. Where are we? This is the dark forest. We shouldn't be here. Lucas, we're going to go to your level real quick. We're going to level you up and make you much more agile. And then we're going to come to you again. Your magic. Should we enchant your body more, Lucas? Yes, yeah, why I did three. Your Euros is almost worth the same as dollars these days. 300, uh, what is it? 300 euros is 324 US. So I, I would do the math here and three euros would be $3.24, I think. He's saying it's worth more because he wants me to convert it to mine, but I'm just doing it by units. <laughs> Slug cat, no, that, that math doesn't math at all. Wait, what? Yeah, no, you're right. I'm wrong. It, three three euros is like three point, what? Yeah, it's, it's not worth a crazy amount more. They've been even. They've been kind of catching up with each other, which makes doing math a little bit easier. Anyways, Lucas, come back to us. 
We have to change your guy's level. We have to give him abilities. Abilities to do things that men can't do, not normal men. Oh yeah, I, I was too impatient with the enemy that was bleeding out and decided to go and fight him, and then he got stabbed to death. Dude literally would have just bled out if we let him be, though. Enchant body? Okay. Mind over body, compliant form, or adaptation? You don't need a weapon, Petro. What are you what are you gonna do? Fight? You don't even have the skills for it. <laughs> Clearly Lucas with his magic is the better option, see? <laughs> we'll give Petro a knife. Petro moves slow. He's got 61% moving with that bad back. Where's the enemy at? Still up there dinking around? Okay. How many mods are at? Like 74, I think. I hope you've been enjoying your show, Petro. All right, let's get ourselves up here. Ready for the enemy. Ready for it all. Ready for combat. Enchant your body, Petro. Get him! Oh gosh, Lucas! <laughs> what was that? He like threw him on the ground and killed him. Whoa. Good fighting. You can, uh, let go of that form there, then. Petro wants his agility leveled up. Petro's agility is already as high, like pretty high compared to everyone else, but we'll leave it locked on. Then free Petro will just be faster, I guess. Sniper has some points here. We'll give Sniper some, some agility too, for a bit. The firewall's almost done. Oh, thank goodness. Production. Give it a try. Give the chopping a try, yeah. Is this a 24 hour stream? I don't know if I, my brain capacity could handle 24 hours of RimWorld. I just labeled it day of RimWorld because we were gonna play RimWorld all day. I do like this music though, it's so relaxing. Do I know what what? I have no idea. Chapstick? You can spice the game with water. You got a lot of iron ingots too. So if we go to research, stone crushing. We're not done yet. All right, so we need to do a dry stack.
Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Lucas. You're, you're too muscular to be punching things. We'll send the guests away. Oh, yeah, we do have does bad hygiene, don't we? Or no, we don't. It didn't end up in, or it got wonked out. Easiest way to check is the needs here. Oh, he's hungry. Go eat. Why didn't you eat food? There is food. There's food for everybody here still. All the tantrums. Just you. You're the biggest concern. That someone said that the dead bug stinking the place. Progress is being made, though. Don't worry. We got a good fire break going, too. Petro, you want to get polymorphed again? Well, I hope you're happy. <laughs> Can't believe you survived that. <laughs> Entertainment right there. Oh We have all the tavern stuff here Water filled barrel Where are you going, Lucas? Where are you going? And floor up this room. Make everything not look so crap. There we go. My brain's starting to get hungry tired. We might need to take a break for a little bit, guys, and come back. I think I need to go eat and stretch my legs for a bit. Been sitting for such a long time. Dang, four hours of streaming? How about this? We'll pause here. I'm gonna go eat. All y'all come join the Discord, right? And I'll drop another ping when we start back up, and then you won't miss it, because you'll be in the Discord. All right? Uh, link's in the description. That should work out just fine. Or I can switch to the Be Right Back music, actually. That would work, right? Oh, yeah. That works fine. All right.
Yeah, we shall return after lunch. Yeah. I paused the game. I've taken the save at Tavern Master. That sounds like a plan to me. Lucas, can you enchant my dog? <laughs> Alrighty. The dogs are spazzing out too. Headphones charged a bit too. We're gonna do a few things. I'll see you guys in a little bit.
<laughs> Hello, I'm back. No, Kirby, no, no, I'm... Oh. <laughs> it wasn't paused, but it, I guess I didn't do anything because I was tabbed out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Layers of the fire barrier, and then we're going to get walls up, and then we're going to get our plants going, and then we're going to build a bar and sell cheese booze it's basically gonna be rotten milk but fermented until it makes it makes you feel different so i guess with poison maybe the dogs are going nuts grass milk <laughs> Wouldn't grass milk just be soy milk? Oh, she, yo, sniper's almost done. I do have a cup of milk here, though. Milk is pretty filling. Got a predator down here. The big old snaky snake. That giant forest constrictor. Every tile on the map had a tree up. That is uh, an interesting bug, gotta say. Now, since we have such a big fire barrier now, we actually don't need to worry too much about the walls getting burnt down. We can actually do it out of wood now. This is probably why dirt paths aren't in the base game because they're a little bit broken in this way. We can throw a wooden door on that. And go to floors again. And go dirt path and go floor out again. There we go. If there's a RimWorld 2, I'm all for it, but I don't think there is one. Your lips are still on fire, but it smells like strawberry. Yes, keep us updated on the state of your lips. Put on some chapstick, dude. <laughs> Drink some water. Honestly, if they keep burning, put some antibiotic ointment on them. Don't eat it, of course, but you know, antibiotic ointment. Well, it will work a bit better than chapstick would. Not to mention a lot of chapsticks out there are actually designed to dry your lips out more. <laughs> So you keep putting it on and keep buying it and your problem will persist. I don't know if you're in a different country, but if you're in my country, that's how it's gonna work out for you. <laughs> We're gonna sell you an enhancing of your problem disguised as a solution. Oh yeah, let's try out the wheelbarrow. See how that works for us. Lucas's relations tab. He's hoping he can get it all. He gets along with Petro pretty good. Petro's out of her mind right now, though, so. Better off with Sniper. He has an ex lover somewhere out in the world. <gasps> well, your only romantic competition has the plague, Lucas. <laughs> I 
Why do the dogs keep going? It's because one barks and then the other barks. And then because they heard the one bark, they have to bark too. And it cycles. So they'll bark forever. All right. So sniper, you need to go rest. Go rest. Go clean your room and rest. Thank you. Then who's the, who's the doc sniper? All right, sniper, you're gonna you're gonna need to tend yourself real quick. This is gonna be a bad tend. That was pretty. Uh, that was a pretty traumatic tend. Can you guys hear them barking? <laughs> they were outside. They all got some cheese and some snacks. I gave them all biscuits. And there, I actually have a security camera in the room that they're all in right now. And when I look, they're just looking out the windows barking. <laughs> I could actually see them on my phone right now. They're just howling for the sake of howling. This is the outdoor camera. There's nothing in the yard. There's nothing out there. Dude, visitors have arrived at booze. There's no guest beds, and there's bugs. Yeah, we'll probably just refuse visitors until we have guest beds. They are good boys. Animal transport pod crash. Oh. Oh, there's a dead marauder. You know what that means? We gotta butcher it. Furniture. Is any of this food just directly editable? Edible? No, a lot of it looks like food, but it turns out none of it is food. All right. Just a fishing zone? Okay. I thought I built the bridge. That's a different fishing mod. Badger, we have a whole video dedicated to that. A whole entire video. No one can fish, just so you know. Nobody. No one at all. I'll try to make it their number one priority for now. I don't believe anyone's going to try to fish. Yeah, for real. Badger, for real. We have a whole video dedicated to 40k mods because there's enough to just totally convert RimWorld into Warhammer, if you wish. There's a whole bunch of RimWorld 40k mods. It's a whole universe of mods. No one's willing to fish though, for some reason. So we're just gonna go to our, front, our production tab. We're gonna make that butcher spot right outside the door. We're gonna go and add Bill, butcher creature. And we're gonna go and find our chef, who happens to be Sniper. Probably can't move right now. Oh, we'll try. Sniper will get the most food out of it. And then we're going to go to production again. Build a meat rack right outside. We will have Lucas do that.
Sniper wants to die. Sniper doesn't want to rest. <laughs> I don't believe Sniper's gonna survive. I guess maybe. I, mean, I got there. There's a decent chance. Okay. Blood for the blood god. Yeah, there's plenty, plenty of stuff for 40k. Plenty of memes. Thought I had some 40k sound effects. I was gonna play one, but I can't find it. So uh, I got that war horn sound effect. The Titan Horn. We got bones, hide, fat. So many parts to things now. First harvest. I just go to uh, wars real quick and just make this whole area tilt soil since we're harvesting it now. Oh, I didn't have to tear up the plants to do it. Okay. <laughs> He's an execute sniper. We have no protection against the plague sniper carries. By, with that in mind, we should move everybody else to a different room. Here, we'll just preemptively put this in here. And, and tell Lucas to go and romance Petro. <laughs> there you go, Lucas, you're dating Petro. You definitely didn't use any any magical magic <laughs> to, to, to get them to like you more. <laughs> I don't have my name in the game, but if it is, that's kind of fun. You would never use love magic on somebody, never. Let's haul all that rice inside. That's not hauling. Haul. Sniper's uh, gone. Sniper's gonna go die with their plague in the woods. It's too bad. We have no way to tame you, so sniper's dead. <laughs> we can't, we can't, we can't take care of them. And then there was two. <laughs> I guess. Oh, you're. Ideologian forbids. It's forbidden. It's bidden. Bidden. Bidden, Lucas. Bidden. <laughs> so much for your plans. Execute. <laughs> Okay, I need to go figure out what's going on with those dogs. They can't bark for 20 minutes. The neighbors are going to get mad at us. Okay. 
they're all quiet now. Kirby's gonna come down here and have some treats. They won't be able to chain reaction blow up anyone. <laughs> you guys could hear that. I gave them snacks. A winter vegetable mod. I think the what is it? The melons or what? No cantaloupes. There is one in vanilla expanded that grows in the winter. Go look at our food guide and skip around till you find the where it looks like we're in a snow map on screen and we'll be talking about that plant. Change the ideology, you don't want to get married. Petro, you have to bear the children. Oh, this is getting so weird. <laughs> this is getting so weird. Beets, yeah. Oh yeah, beets, yeah. We don't have enough ideology points. And there's not enough pawns in the colony to change it anymore. Spouse only. You must marry. Sniper is done for. All right, we'll set this to uh, prisoners and we will try to capture Sniper. Go get him. Hopefully they healed laying on the ground. Probably didn't do anything for us. That's pretty bad. Well. Sniper went wild while they were sick with plague and that was it. Polymorph, we ran out of time. <laughs> Already dead. There's a delay in the stream. I think you guys are 30 seconds behind everything I say. That or like 10 seconds. There's a bit of a delay. Did we finish the research at Reese for stone cutting? All right, production. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You want more arms? Oh, <laughs> look at Pedro's magic. You got mind over body. Also, Pedro uh, has really high agility now. There we go. Oh, you know what? I'm a bad person. I forgot to tell the people in Discord that I was back, which I said I was gonna do. I better go do that. Chat is scrolling. I sent a video, not a live stream. I was just in Discord. Oh my goodness. They're barking again. I don't even know what to do anymore. I give up. You want to play Romo, but you got to set up the new PC so you can handle more pawns. Well, then get on it, dude. It's not dead. People play on it pretty often. We did a server wipe last week. It's just that the people that play are on later in the evening. 
A lot of people that play BZ on our server, they're all uh, working age people. They all got jobs. They're trying to bait me. <laughs> Don't listen to them. They want me to stop streaming and play with them. Little do they know is if we don't get money, they won't eat. I just gave them treats. I give them loads of attention. Kirby sleeps with me every night. He likes to curl up in my arm like a little child. He's my baby boy. I can call for Kirby to come down. But we need to figure out what we're doing next. Someone needs to go build the wall. Missing five timber. What? What? Why? Why? What happened? Why can you not build wall? Log wall, raw wood. Okay. I see now. Me just being silly brain. Or a slow brain, however you want to look at it. I have no idea when the next update will be here. Uh, Ludian often will only release updates when they release DLC. Other than that, it's like little change notes and tweaks here and there, but nothing really of note. If that makes any sense. Please storage. <laughs> we are researching primitive storage when we get around to it. Well, I guess we're doing the wheelbarrow. Let's get that primitive storage down. Everybody's pretty good at research, so we'll just have somebody make sure they're doing it. Let's get that storage research. I think Lydian does a really good job with their DLC. Um, they just... They don't tell you what they're working on, and that means that there's no news pressure for them to work faster, and they do things at their pace, and you get what you get when they're ready to give it to you, or you don't get anything at all because they're not working on anything. Tynan's already said, like, he's already stated that RimWorld is a finished game, and he's under no obligation to do anything new for it, so... That's not to be rude. I'm sure he wasn't trying to upset anybody with that. He's just saying, hey, we finished the game. We've been releasing some DLC for it, but like, he's not pressuring himself, you know? They might be making a completely different game. Nobody knows. They they don't really say much. Like, I, I guess my, my best example I can give you is like, as much content as I've released in RimWorld, I have no communication with anybody at Ludian at all. I have no idea what's going on. No one tells me. No one has to tell me. <laughs> Get a storefront in game. We can do that. There's our storefront. We're selling religion. If you, if you come and buy some, you get it for free. I didn't hear any rumors about changes to the core files. If there's a mod for Paul, no, I probably wouldn't play it. The royalty, oh, whoa, no. Or wait, could we do that in the medieval run? Climb the, the whole royalty tree and get like all the 
Oh, well. I'd probably blow up the colony before I got that far playing on a stream. Dude, if they're ready to release anything, I'm happy to cover it. I think the community could use it. Player counts for RimWorld are pretty low right now. I mean, we're used to having an average daily player of like 27,000 people in RimWorld. I keep track of it. Right now, like 15, 17,000 people show up to play the game a day. That's still a crap ton of people, but it's not good for me running a business. <laughs> a business being a YouTube channel that need, where a lot of people need to learn how to play. If they were constantly releasing updates, they'd have a never-ending flow of new players, and I'd have like a never-ending stream of people to my channel. It would work great. It would all feed into itself. It'd be beautiful. Instead, we get these huge influxes. What will happen is, like, back when the channel first started, it's happened every time they release a DLC, because we started before even the first DLC came out. Is they'll release a DLC, we'll gain, like, 10, 20,000 subs in one month and get a million views. And then it will taper down over the months. And then we'll have, like, 8, 9, 10, maybe even longer than a year of, of things being kind of slow. And then update dlc and things go wild again <laughs> so like for me i almost want to get more games on the channel that way we don't have as many of those gaps and so like when one game is slowing down we can be on another game you know what i mean if that makes sense because i'm thinking about how to do youtube long term you know like for example i wanted to start doing loads of zomboid videos and then Factorio has the DLC coming out soon. Uh, if you want improved Pawnee, you got mods for that already. I mean, that's the other big thing. I feel like that's probably at least uh, I'm talking out of my butt here. Basically, this is all like hypothetical, but I'm, just, I'm going to go on a limb. And I think that they, they feel there isn't really a need to release a lot of content for the game all the time. And up, constant updates. They can take it slow because the modding community keeps you guys satiated pretty good. You know? And so they're, they're free to really work on things. And that really allows them to do the best job they can do. That's my personal opinion. Yo... A Death Note anime. You know, before I made guides or anything at all, I used to make... Uh, oh, what do we even call them now? It's been so long. Where you take animes and cut them down into music videos. I used to make those. I did uh, one for Fire Force and some other, other shows. We used to have an anime chat on the Discord, but the, the mod slot people were... A little, a little too thirsty with the stuff they were posting in there, so we had to take the chat away. <laughs> and so all that wood we can't build with, so we're gonna have to go to log floors, I guess. Unless floors are something we have to research. We gotta research floors? Oh, look at that. Basic agriculture. That didn't slow us down. I guess the other mod, the vanilla expanded mods kind of gave us access to growing before we should have had it. Intermediate cooking, carrier birds, brewing. Okay, we do need storage, but booze. We'll have to get to it eventually. It looks like our pet is researching. Let's kind of bust through all this, fast forward it all. German chocolate cake is really good. Grandma Ma knows how to make sweets.
watch my my personal trainer is gonna be like I, I saw your stream yesterday I'll be like yeah how'd you like it I heard you ate cake and now I'm gonna cry because he's gonna make me work out really really hard because I ate cake <laughs> that's how it's gonna go Just you wait and see and you're like oh well time time for you to die on the treadmill you and all your dreams this dude is a baseliner with level six melee wow <laughs> it was sugar free cake yeah welcome welcome latch bone tribal axe 14 melee damage per second and we have Lucas is going to enchant his body real quick. It's homemade cake, to be fair. It's not something from the store. All right, polymorph that guy. Turn him into a bug. It didn't work. Get him. Ow! Why are you running past, Lucas? This isn't going well. Pause. Get out here and help. Ah! How you doing over there, Lucas? Horrible injuries. Really bad. And Petro can't cross a dang rock. Go around, Petro! Go around! Okay, thank you. That melee animation mod is really good. Useless raptor. <laughs> oh, raptor. It might just be you and Petro. Petro, save your boyfriend. Petro should have been the one fighting that whole time because look at his melee, her melee skill. <laughs> Got it all. Once we uh, patch up Luke is here. Which I think we're almost done. I'm gonna drink a beer. There we go. Get that dead body out of here. We got some cleaning up to still do on the base. There's so much stuff everywhere. Oh my gosh, and it's driving me nuts. I can't wait for primitive storage to be finished. Hopefully we don't get any infections here. <laughs> Without your body being enchanted, you become crippled. You have to use your mana to keep yourself going. Uh, I, there shouldn't be a mech site on the map. If there is, we wouldn't be able to do much with it because we're tech locked being in a medieval run. Really? Grapples? That's actually pretty cool. Hmm. 
the light the torches take fat that's interesting production make storage tents that we can go inside of Lassos and Hyperweave, okay. The dogs are still going. Can you guys hear it in the stream? Yes, you can. I'm looking at the waveforms. They're bouncing with the dog barks. Oh, yeah, definitely. They're just bark making each other bark. I can go silence them if you guys wish. Would you like quiet puppers? Kirby will be quiet if I go have him sit on my lap. <laughs> and then if Kirby's sitting on my lap, Odie will want to go to sleep. And if nobody's running around, Mitzi will get bored and go fall asleep too. So all I have to do is hold Kirby. And Kirby always gives me the eyes when I hold him. He puts his ears back and makes his eyes all beady. Looks me in the eyes and, ooh, pet me. <laughs> you need dog cam. <laughs> there are three dogs here. One of them are mine. Missing 125 timber. And why is that? Why might that be? Because there's a lot of... Oh, because you need raw wood. So we convert? We got too many mods that make similar items going on right now. Raw wood pile. Okay. There we go. Come on, Lucas. Come on now. Dude, the pathing for hauling is so busted. And we need to move this way further away. Jeez. Making everybody have mental breaks for no reason. Did you just keep the wood in your pocket? Put that down. <laughs> Go get your bone axe back. What are you upset about? What's going on? Jeez! I like cats. They usually content with just sleeping all day. Wish I could do that. I've tried to sleep all day, but it didn't work out too well for me. Well, I'll tell you why they're upset. I never built anyone a table, for starters. That's probably something that I could do for them that's really not all that difficult. Is he an undergrounder? Yeah. Botched it. Okay. 
Petro, because you're not married. The idol legion forbids it. Pristine ruins found nearby. Petro, you can't go over there. Look, your ideologian forbids it. <laughs> you have to get married. You and Lucas, you gotta get married. That's right, chat. Two of the members of chat have to get married in order for the game to progress. Go on and encourage them. <laughs> They're already dating. Why would it wouldn't work? Look at your social here. See, Petro is a hundred mood already. Petro's infertile. Oh no! That's a rip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm done doing an evil laugh. <laughs> that was such a surprise. Lucas will just have to, to marry outside the family. We need to break them up. How do we make them break up? How do we end this farce? It's time to build walls. Dude, we only got two people. That's a lot of work. There's no real good place to do this, huh? <laughs> you won't do it. The miraculous conception. Go eat the corn, or the rice. Go eat it. Go chop it. You throw that tantrum. You go be upset about eating that rice. Mm -hmm. Go take out your anger on that dude's face. It's totally allowed. Oh, someone matched with even Petro. I would say that this map is absolutely terrible. There's too much fauna to tear down. And then all the different item mods are just adding so much bloat to the game. There's, there's just junk everywhere. There's stuff everywhere. There's so much just stuff stuff everywhere. And a lot of it can't be used with the other stuff because the mods don't work together. <laughs> We, we made the community mod list, but the community mod list is an interesting one. <laughs> Why would we reset now? They're not dead yet. I mean, they're probably going to end up dying, though. They're all going to lose their minds. But once this duel's done, we'll get rid of one of the mood bee buffs. There we go. You done, Petro? Good. Enchant Petro's weapon. There we go.
Dude cannot stay hungry uh, full at all. Oh, it's because of the, the magical powers that they're burning through. We need to go chop some berry bushes. Okay. Do do do. All kinds of berry bushes to harvest. Let's go punch this dude in the face over here. That's a huge mood to fix that catharsis right there. Alrighty. Alright, Lucas needs some more abilities here. Some more magical abilities. Maybe even some more clarity. Maybe some more focus. points to learn. We must save them up. The dogs are quiet. Now I'm more concerned. Why are they quiet? What could have happened that would make them quiet? There's nobody here. I must go check. It's probably a ghost. <laughs> We're not the only ones here anymore, so they do have something to do. How long have we been streaming for? Oh my goodness. A long time, essentially. <laughs> okay, let's go handle it. Come on. caught on fire for a second. Did you see that? How'd you catch this person up? What? I'm so confused. Things are looking a lot better though for him. Look at that. Everybody's mood's getting better. Everybody's mood's real improved. I didn't give notice four hours. I told you guys before, too, when we first started. I, I notified you guys again when we came back, Letch. You just weren't around yet. If you look, there's two notifications there. Yeah, that's where they go. Where else would it go? Did I put it somewhere else before? I'm gonna go look now. I don't know what you're going on about. I 
Oh, dude, ever since Discord did the UI update, the whole app has been garbo -oh. Yeah, dude, I notified you at 10.30 a.m. What are you talking about? Dude probably opened his phone, saw it, closed his phone, forgot about it, then got the second one and blamed me for not telling him about the first one. <laughs> You just use that here, not at Streamware. All right, fair. That's that's on me. But the ping is there. It is in there. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Dementia Club. <laughs> Get everything cleaned up. How is all these guys too heavy? I don't get it. What are you carrying that's got so much weight that you can't even haul this? Health. You're wounded. Okay, and then you, you're back. All right, so everybody's just disabled. That's why. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Dude, at least haul in the food. Do me that favor. Thank you. <laughs> no, that's for dumping. There should be a dump up there. Zone. Ignore them. Is it a tantrum? Insulting spree? Do it. Do it. Insult them. Do it. Oh, that was short. You know what? I'll fix this. I'm going to solve this. Come out here, Lucas. Come out here. We're, we're fixing everything. They resisted. <laughs> They're resisting. <laughs> Oh, a transmutated corpse? Lucas is out of mana. Major food poisoning and a broken back. Jeez. <laughs> so rough. Lucas, you have two points now. Let's go. Learn it. Subatomic control. <laughs> All righty. Come along now. Come along, Lucas. Come along. What do you mean? You can't do it? He had enough the first time. It just said there was no resources on location for him. here lucas has some more points we'll probably try to get that agility near positive finally just a raptor walking around the house that's kind of funny
You remember what you played with a year ago? Man, guys, my brain is just tired. I'm sorry. It's probably not very entertaining to watch this when, my, when I'm not talking at all. I think I've reached my, my limit for the day. It's all right, though. We had a good go at it, and we'll be here again tomorrow. No way, dude. Look at transmute. Maybe it needs to be fresh. No, it didn't work. Transmute has transformation cost material application. Okay. Thoughts level two. And it converts them to nutrient paste. <laughs> So now we understand all that. We're almost done cleaning up the base. We can just haul all this out of here. That's not what you were asked to do, haul. That's wonderful. We definitely don't want to do a waste pack drop. Did you just put it in your pocket instead of hauling? What's going on? Yes, you did just put it in your pocket. Why are you not able to haul things properly? All right, we'll build more. So confusing. Suddenly starting to get cleaned up, dudes. Then we got some storage spots here. Why make it out of wood, dude? There we go. Hmm. I don't have anything to make it out of, I guess. see so we need to process the wood is that in the research tab they 
basic agriculture, advanced cooking. Seeing anything related to wood making in here. The workbench. Oh, we got a masonry table now. As the going goes, we unlock new things. Everything will be outside for now. Oh my goodness. my mom calling <laughs> I told her I'll get back to her in a bit I think uh, I think we'll call it here my brain's so tired but we will go for just as long tomorrow if not longer I don't see why we won't I, I call my mama every single day I don't know about you You don't need to go visit someone to be able to chat with them. I I don't I don't see why we'd be doing a new game. These people haven't died yet. We're gonna be continuing where we're at. In fact, we made some pretty good progress. We have the uh, debris cleared, and the farm's going fine. It's tilled, all that. Everything's gonna start getting stored on shelves. It's just that tech goes so dang slow. We've only got two pawns. So I'll take that, you know. But don't worry about it. I'm gonna save real quick. There we go. We're gonna be picking up tomorrow at 10 a.m. I even left a note for myself on the save. Yo, Letch, dude. Yeah, I used to pay 575 a month for rent, and then when I came back for the renewal, they told me it was 1,150 a month. But here's the catch. That's not like an apartment you live in alone. It's a room in a communal apartment where three other people living who are also being told to pay the same amount. So this one apartment that used to cost 2000 a month costs 4000 a month now. And so we all lost our home. That's why I live with my grandparents now. Yeah, there's no rent controls here, dude. That's why we that's why we strive for donations and stuff too cuz uh to be fair, you guys should use ad blockers. You should. You really should use ad blockers, but we can't survive without you guys watching ads. So the the happy medium is for us to tell you guys to run an ad blocker and then go support us on Patreon. So if you guys want to have ad-free videos for a year, it's only $11 if you go to Patreon cuz they give you a discount. Anyways, we're going to be heading out. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you guys hanging out today. And I We'll see you around.